what's up guys we are live so we haven't done one of these in a minute we're doing some speed dating tonight uh we got aspen joining us and then malik is going to jump on a little bit later so we're gonna have two girls tonight uh one of them is brand new and one of them is a veteran to the show so we're gonna be doing these probably about once a week or so moving forward uh, i do like still like doing the speed days i still think they're fun but i don't want to uh, do them like three times a week like we used to. i want to focus on other type of content as well also we are as i Posted in the community tab, I hinted at yesterday, we're implementing a new rule. We're going to call this don't be a little bitch rule. Why we're calling this don't be a little bitch rule. Basically, the premise of the rule is this, is that um, if you talk massive, massive amounts of shit in the chat, and we're talking about people who all they do is just talk shit and they contribute absolutely nothing of value, then you'll be given an option of either coming on the channel and you know actually having a discussion with me or whoever you're talking shit to or you're going to be banned right now again this is if you're critical or you're just occasionally talk shit that's totally fine we're talking about a small percentage of people who all they do is just derail the quality of the show so again they will be given a chance to uh make their point uh you know directly to me right and we can have a debate or discussion about it but if they're not willing to do that all they want to do is just fucking hide in the comments and troll and just be the little pussies that they are then you know i think that's not gonna be the channel for them Anyway, also for the speed dates, I think the way we're going to do for the speed dates is this. Uh, I think the equivalent of that is just to go on the speed date. So look, you can be critical. You can like whatever, be like, oh, this person bombed or I don't like this, whatever. That's totally fine. But if all you're doing, all you're doing is just shitting on every single person and you've never been on a speed date yourself, you'll be given a chance to go on a speed date. Uh, but if you're not willing to do that, then, uh, you know, you got to chill out and either not talk shit or, uh, you know, not be in the show. Uh, because we're trying to, uh, yeah, like really increase the quality of the chat and it's getting, uh, I guess I can talk shit because you're regular. Yeah. If you've ever been on a speed date, you've ever been on the panel, you can talk all the shit you want. So it's, uh, only for people who never, ever go on. And again, all those people will, will be given a chance to go on and you can also keep your camera off. You can use a fake name. So we're not trying to like expose anyone's identity. Does this include all the gay black people talk about everyone rating each other? Uh, somewhat. Yeah. So if all you're doing is just fucking rating other dudes and it's like, oh, like, oh my God, he's like a five. It's, he's like a four at best. And that's all you do. And that's your whole contribution to the channel. Yeah, that will include that. All right. Anyway, so I think we're just going about to increase the quality of the chat by like 5,000%. Drop the link. Uh, so join on. We have a strict cutoff tonight. We're going to go until a latest including the post show it's going to be 10 20 or 10 15 i do have to be uh done by then so don't wait uh that means we're going to keep the speed dating portion maybe an hour and 45 minutes so don't wait until the end because yeah we're not going to be able to get you on so if you want to join early bird gets the word all right aspen let's start off with a quick introduction to who you are and what do you do um so i'm aspen and i'm currently studying psychology at ashland university and i plan to finish my major and continue on and get my doctorate um, I currently do social media as a side job, more for fun, but yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, there's there's a university called Ashley University. Yeah, it's uh, located in Ashland, Ohio. Okay. Cool. We we just had this chick on the channel who used to come on a lot. Her name was Ashley. So when you said that, I just started thinking like she has her own university. <laughs> Can you guys imagine Ashley University? I can talk all the fucking shit I want. Yes, you can, Carrie, because you've been on before. But we're still, the, the anti-spamming rule is still in effect, so just don't spam the chat, then you're good. Uh, okay, cool. Anyway, uh, let's drop the link. All right, we got our first person on. Let's see who it is. Okay, Rayvat. All right. Hey, what's up? What's up, my boy? How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, man, I've been watching you for a while now, dude. I really appreciate your content, man. That's cool. Yeah, Sorry, bro. Bro. It's too loud. Let me know. I'm at work. Um, I think you're okay, but yeah, I appreciate you coming on. You ready? Yeah, for sure. All right, cool. I'm gonna take myself off. You got five minutes. Let's see. All right, what's up, man? How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. How many of these you done before? Um, this is my first one, actually. Have you ever done this before? Never. No, I've just been watching. Uh, what's his name? Alex. Been yeah. watching him for a while. <laughs> hey, hold on, let me let me holler at this security guy real quick. Hey yo, they let me through over there. Is that key? They let me they let me through over there. Is that good? Write it down. Sorry. <laughs> FedEx, man. You know how it goes. Yeah, you're um, good. yeah. How old are you? Um, I'm eighteen. Oh wow, you look a little bit older than eighteen. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, how, old, how old are you? I'm twenty nine. Oh, okay. What's up? Huh? Oh, uh, hey, it wouldn't go through on that. Sorry about this. You're good. 
no foresight, you know. I'm a bad dude. <laughs> um, yeah, man. So how long you known Alex? Where'd you guys meet? We good? All right, for sure. Um, he actually just DM'd me on Instagram and asked if I would join the podcast for one night. He had told me that his sister actually found me, so. Yeah, yeah, that seems probably like him. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, man? Um, I'm from Ohio. I'm around the central area. Oh, you know what? My whole family's from Ohio, actually. Like, Columbus area? Yeah. Yeah, man. Everybody's, like, a huge Buckeyes fan, except for me. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Atlanta. That's okay. the name. Ray of ATL. It's a website I made. Uh, I got a little sh- drop shipping thing. I don't know why I took that name. <laughs> but uh, so tell me a little bit about your stuff, man. Like, what do you what do you get into? Like, you're kind of cute, but like, you got anything else going for yourself? Um. Well, I mean, I spend most of my time studying. I'm also really big into reading, and like I said, social media. Like, I just love doing yeah. that. Time. Yeah, for sure. I'm I'm having uh, what's it? Chat GPT. I make books on there and fucking publish them. <laughs> Yeah. So you get to, I'm an author, you know? Yeah, that's pretty cool. What else do you like to yeah. do? Um, I train jujitsu and you know, I like to go clubbing and I can't really do drugs anymore. I like doing drugs though. <laughs> <laughs> no more drugs for me. I guess uh, you know, it's time to adult a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I like partaking in my little acid trips every now and again, but no more smoking weed, no none of that. I don't even drink anymore. Why is that? Um, just trying to get my shit together, you know, I've got, got stuff I'm trying to accomplish, and, you know, time to grow up, right? I'm 29, I'm not a kid anymore. Yeah. Well, you seem like the type, man, you like going out and getting crazy? Um, occasionally. Yeah, like, what are you getting into? Um, I don't do drugs. <laughs> no, I meant, like, what do you do for fun? <laughs> oh, I like to go out and party, hang out with friends, stuff like that, go to the gym. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got a little home gym in my garage, man. Amazon hooked it up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you don't you don't have any, like, workout equipment at the crib? It's so much easier that way. No, I just go to the gym uptown. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, I used to do that. You know what? It sucked for me was I would get so lazy, and it's like that having the stuff in my house really kind of helped me break through that, like, it's just like a mental struggle to just get in the car after work. You know, I work my ass off, so it's like, Fuck, I just want to chill when I get home, you know? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. going can be kind of tiring. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I don't know, you, you know. Uh, I have a trucking company. I'm a FedEx contractor. So, like, I just, I drive this little the trailer. I can't really show you. Not safe. But uh, have you ever seen the trucks with two trailers? Kind of looks like a train going down the road. Five What's minutes. Up, Five minutes or hey. up. All right, cool. So Aspen, so this is how it's going to go. After every speed date, I'm going to ask you this question, and you have to answer brutally honestly. If, okay. If you guys were in the same city, would you go on a date with Rafe? Um, probably not. Okay. What do you think he could have done better? Um, Probably not talk about, like, drugs the first five minutes. That would have been, like, <laughs> maybe just what? ease into that. Hey, man, you got to look for the right type of girl. Uh, yeah, would, would that, was that, like, the only thing? Um, yeah, that was about it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that can, yeah, I mean, first of all, this is your first time on, so you did pretty good for your first time. I do think the drugs thing, yeah, I like, to, I like to do drugs, too, from time to time, so I do know that can be a turn off, so I avoid <laughs> talking about that uh, in the beginning. I like to feel out the girl's vibe before I ever bring that up, so, yeah, I would just be careful with that. True. Uh, you know, there's, yeah, like, man, good advice. to build sexual tension, like, you're, she's like, she's like, oh, it's my first time. Yeah, like, sure. We're both going to take each other's speed date, Virginia. You can like make a joke out of that. Um, but yeah, it's also kind of hard, I guess, to do a speed date while you're like working and stuff because you can't really like focus. So I think all things considered, you did pretty well. I think that maybe if you didn't bring up the drugs thing, uh, you might have gotten a different response. But yeah, man, yeah. keep coming on. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get better next hey, time. I'll keep that in mind, man. I'll keep it in mind. I appreciate it. Yeah, bro. Good seeing you, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, for sure. Nice to meet you, man. Take care, buddy. All right, cool. Let's bring on the next person. Uh, okay, this dude, my favorite person. What's up? Hold on, hold on, Alex. Hello. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, what's up? All Yo, right. Just to pull me up with these two girls, man. 
Uh, that's not going to be for another like 40 minutes. So, can I, can I come back? Uh, yeah, if there's space, but I can't promise I'm going to save you a spot. Oh, uh, come on, man. I'm, I'm, willing, I'm willing to wait for the second girl, but look, I just want to see the other girl. That's why I don't know who the other oh, girl is. Oh, it's Malik. You already went on a date with her, so that's not going to Oh, go she's anywhere. already today. Yeah, let me come back. Let me come. Can, you, can I come back, please? Can no, she doesn't, back? she doesn't like you. Like, if I, she, she, she she's, she's going to, she's going to like, she's not going to be happy if I bring you back while she's on. So, if anything, you should either uh, go on or never. Okay, okay, I'll see, I'll see you, Aspen. Okay. All right. So, Aspen, what's up? Nothing. What's up with you? Chilling. Hey, hold on. You know what? You know what day it is today? Thursday. But what? What's the date? <laughs> Four twenty. Okay. Look. So, <laughs> how are you doing today? How's it going, Aspen? Um. You know, it's it's going. It's going what? It's going good. Yeah, I guess. Do you, do you smoke on 420 or no? No. Why? Is it not legal where you're at? No, it's not legal. Oh, uh, that sucks. Where, where are you from? Aspen? Is that like, uh, where's that from? Or is that Ohio. just Ohio? That's just my name. Oh. Ohio, they don't have um legal. This is not legal over there? I don't know. I don't keep up with that. Oh, okay. Where are you at? East Coast. Mm. Very specific. Um, East Coast. Did you get high before this, or just yeah? Before? But oh, okay, like I have like I have a whole bunch here, so you know what I mean. Mhm. <laughs> yeah. So, um, how old are you? I'm 18. How old are you? Oh wow, I'm really old. I'm an old person. So how how when's it? When do you just turn 18? Um, I just turned 18. I'm about to turn 19. When when you turn nineteen? July. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's coming up. That's in the summer too. You get to ch- like celebrate your birthday in the in the summer. Yeah. That's pretty cool. What about you? When's your birthday? My birthday's in June. Oh, okay. So the month before yours. Yeah. And when's how old are you? Re- I'm really old. My birthday's June 9th. Oh, okay. Mine's yeah. eight. No way. Yeah. That's like what well, I think June has 30 days. So that's like what 28 days, I think. It's like 28 days to yours. Cause you know how everything's like what 30, 31. I mean 31, yeah. Or 28. So what do you what do you have planned for it? What do you you're not planning it out or, or are you somebody that just likes to wait till it happens? I just kind of wait till it happens. Oh, that's what's what's like, up. did you have any big birthday plans? Yeah. So are you known somewhere? Are you known somewhere? Like, what do you mean by that? Like your social, does Alex know who you are? As in your social? Um, he, he said his sister actually found me and recommended me for the show. Oh, mm, that's pretty cool. So, um, what do you want to ask me? You want to ask me something? Um, what do you do for fun other than smoke weed? I stream and make music. I make music. What kind of music? I'll play a song if Alex lets me play a song. Well, you have to discuss that with him. Okay, so um, I don't want to, I don't want to um. If you look up my SoundCloud, that's me right there. My my name right here. Okay, that's my real that's my real name. That's my real name. Yeah. Jonathan. Yeah, that's my real name. My everywhere. Do you go by something different or Jonathan? Yeah, I go by a lot of. I go a lot of. I go by a lot of different things. Okay. But um I have cuz my socials is weird. I have a bunch of names, but this is my real name like as in if I was to make music, this is what I call myself. And that's what I call myself when I make my music. All right. Certainly this one certainly did not disappoint. All right, Aspen, would you go on a date with Jonathan? No. Okay, I wonder why. So I, I don't know why you would think it would be a good idea to like light up a blunt like right after she said that she's like anti-drug in the previous one. Did you miss that or was that on purpose? It's 420, Alex. What else am I supposed to do? Uh, like I don't know. Five, wait five minutes before smoking a blunt, I guess. I don't know. No, uh, I had to. I had to. Wait, I had to. Look, when I found out you were streaming on 420, I had to make sure that I smoked on 420. Okay, well, you got that in. All right. Do you have uh, aspirin? Anything else besides the weed thing? Anything else you think could have done better? 
Um, maybe like when I ask you a question back, like actually give me an answer. Like I asked where you're from two different times and you gave me um, a broad answer. So maybe just try to be more interesting. Yeah, I think I think this was over the minute you uh, lit up the blunt. I could tell by her body language, she completely shut down. It would have taken a miracle to turn it around at that point. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, sorry, yeah. Oh, she's gonna have a heart attack. Don't die. I have never had a death on stream. I'd, I'd rather keep it that way. We don't have the insurance policy for your uh, for suicides and deaths. Yeah, chug, chugging that. Oh man, that was. But what a way to go. That was disgusting. <laughs> you know what that is? Milk and yogurt soda. That sounds gross. Uh, but yeah, man. Anyway, uh, <laughs> good having you on as always. We'll uh, I guess see you on the next one. I'll be back for Malik. I know, but yeah. I'm not gonna let you on when Malik is here. By the way, just heads up. Why so. not? Because she said multiple oh, why times. Do, why do people think I, I stalk her or I have a crush on her? I have no idea, but she just said multiple times that she doesn't want to talk to you, so I have to. <laughs> but I, but look, I, I I watch I watch a lot of people. Why do why do people just think? I I do understand. I go there and post and just you know what I mean. Dude, what well, walking? And this is this is not any of my concern. You can now can work things out or not work it out. It seems like she no, really I don't know her. Know. That's the thing. I don't. Okay, know. Well, I don't she watch seems like she thinks you know her. Anyway, dude, I'm, just, I, I'm, I'm, pissed next that, I'm pissed that they always talk shit about me, like the the chatters. They always say, "Oh, I'm a stalker." Or some shit. Uh, yeah. It seems like Malik has pretty strong. What's her real name? What's that girl's real name? I'm not gonna give you her real name. Okay, so did I? Like, well, <laughs> you want me like publicly dox her? I don't fucking know the girl. I do. Anyway, see you later. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's bring on the next person. Spicoli. Okay, Spicoli, I got to check with you. Do you want to go on a real uh, – do you actually want to do a speed date Spicoli or do you want to just like do a infamous Spicoli ch tangent? Because I do like your tangents, but we are trying to keep it a speed date. So let me know either in the private chat or the public chat that you actually want to go on a speed date Spicoli and I'll bring you on. Uh, okay. Let's bring on Science Monk. What's up? Oh, hold on. Okay, how's it going? Okay, Spicoli okay. said real good. All right, Spicoli, so I'm going to get you on right after this, so just hang in there. Uh, what's up, man? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, I think, probably. Right. Let's see. Okay, Aspen Hatfield. That's an interesting name. Uh, Thank you. What do you do? Um, For work, for fun. Both. We'll do the work one first. What do you do for work? Um. Well, I'm enrolled in college full time right now. So. Oh. Um, okay. What I do you study? Work. Psychology. Oh, that's interesting. That would have been. Uh. <laughs> okay. So apparently, I have some anti fans uh, in the chat. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're so. Come to my house and stalk me, right? Yeah, I probably will. Hopefully. Uh, I'll, right. I'll get around to that sometime. Okay. Uh, I, my schedule is kind of busy, but I might I might fit that in somewhere. We'll see what happens. Uh, okay, but you're a psychology major. That's kind of interesting. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you do for fun? How did How you said work? his sister recommended you? Alex's sister recommended you? Yeah, she said. Um, he said that she found me on social media. Wait, just to quickly clarify, I don't have a sister. My assistant. My assistant. Oh, oh. His assistant. Oh. Oh, okay. Jesus. I'm deaf, I guess. I am too. I know that. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you like to do other than study for psychology? Um, I like to go out with friends. I like reading, social media, all the basic girl things. What do you like to do for nice. fun? Uh, I just started training MMA at a gym near where I live. Um, and that's just about all I do other than school at this point. What do you uh, go to but I for? like, what's that? What do you go to school oh, for? I go for electrical engineering. Oh, okay. um, yeah, I've been doing that, and it's kind of getting a little boring at this point. How far along are you? I'm in my junior year. I, I worked, I was an electrician on C 130s uh, in the Air Force for a little while. So I have more experience with. Uh, electrical stuff and i don't know it's boring i'm ready to stop I'm ready to do something else yeah that's kind of why i started training mma because um that's something i wanted to do since i was uh in high school so i just started taking classes um and that's been kind of fun yeah um do you do any boring. like sports or anything oh sorry what would you ask oh no you're good 
Um, yeah, I, I'm really into football and baseball and basketball. Those are like my top three sports that I like to watch. Yeah, I haven't really, I haven't really paid very much attention to anything regular sports related since I was in high school. I I think Tom Brady was still with the Patriots about last time I was watching, uh, last time I was interested in football. Yeah. That's where I was uh, in Massachusetts during high school. So I was a, I was a Cheatriots fan. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Did but, you play the uh, course in high school? No, I went to a really weird school. So, well, actually, no, I did karate and uh, taekwondo. Um, but I went to a school that had like it was like a, it was like this weird church slash school thing where there was like thirteen people there, and they didn't have any sports. So pretty much all I did was run around in the woods and do karate, and that was that was all the sports I did. I wanted to play. I wanted to try to get on the football team for one of the uh, high schools near where I live, but it, my dad was like, "Oh no, the devil's gonna influence you because they all smoke weed," and so <laughs> I didn't get to do that. So, yo, what's up? Uh, all right, cool. So, uh, yeah, same question for you, Aspen. Would you go on a date with Science Monk? Um, no, probably not. Okay, cool. What do you think you could have done uh, better? Um maybe just like ask more in-depth questions so far like everybody's asked me the same question over and over and over again um i did enjoy like the sports that was good but overall just like branching out a little bit showing more personality than just like the blank answers yeah i felt that what was really missing is the conversation was 100 percent logical it lacked any kind of like fun playful vibe uh this is uh there's no like sexual tension or flirting uh, it was just very logical exchange. Like, Hey, this is what I do. This is what you do. So I feel like that was the big thing I was missing. I know I say that like pretty much every single speed date. Uh, so you guys are probably used to me hearing that saying that a bunch of times, but that's just kind of typically like the majority of guys make like most 80% of guys make the same two or three mistakes. So it's not like there's like, everyone's doing something different. It's just typically most guys are having a hard time, uh, being, uh, you know, uh, whatever, so, uh, you know, just building sexual tension. All right, blue pill RPG, I'm imposing the don't be a bitch rule for you. So if you want to keep talking shit, you have to either do a speed date or stop talking shit. Crazy. Um, okay, anyway. Uh, I need to warm up before I come on here next time. I think that's my biggest problem. Yeah, that could help. Yeah, wasn't really ready. Uh, but yeah, man, so that's kind of my feedback for you. Uh, but yeah, dude, thanks for coming on. We'll see you next time. All right, well, see you. All right, let's bring on the next person. Are we, oh, wait, Spicoli. I told Spicoli he's going to go next. All right. Hey, Alex. Hey. Hi, Aspen. Alex, Hi. I want to ask you, you, you. I'm a regular on here. I've been watching Alex a couple of years, whatever, three years. And I just wanted to, you to wel welcome you aboard. And I'm just curious. How's the experience going so far for you? Oh, wait, I'm going to take myself off, and you can, you can do that during the speed day. So I'm just going right, to take let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. He's um, sometimes a penis blocker. He's a penis blocker. Okay, I'm just curious, Aspen. How is it? Um, just, I mean. Because it's your first time. I wouldn't ask you if it wasn't your first time, but it's, since it's your first time, I'm curious to know how it's going for you. Um, then, it's definitely you know, not what I ex expected, I guess. Like, I expected the speed dating, but... I don't know. I'm a little nervous, but I think it's going okay. I'm trying to be okay. give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. So I was going to say, and look, I'm an older guy, so that's another question I want to bring up. But I want to commend you because you seem well composed. Since think about it, you were you're 18, so it's been less than a year since you could even legally date a lot of these guys like me or 18 year old, even 18, 19. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's another interesting question. I haven't really ever asked the girl this, not in a long time, but when you turn 18, does a girl like you think, okay, now I can date the 25, 30 year old guy. Do you ever think like it opens up new doors for you as a young um, woman? I definitely think it does. But for me, like there's a certain age range, like when I turn 18, like I feel like 23 is like as far as I would go up in age wise. 
Just because yeah. eventually it does get a little too old and too different in age. It does. Okay, so like, so realistically, let's be honest, I'm like around older than 50. I could be your dad easily. So my question is, and you don't seem like the type that you're from, you know, Ohio, right? Yeah. So that tends to be conservative. You're sort of more traditional. So you're not seeking out some kind of older guy for sugar daddy like a lot of these IG model types, are you? No. Or, are I mean, you or aren't? No, you're not, right? You're a wholesome girl. Am I right? Yeah. Like I would prefer to make my own money and be able to support myself and not have to rely mm -hmm. on a man. That's right. Okay. But at the same time, well, you, a lot of women make the mistake of they say, I don't want to rely on a man. I want to get my own job. And they go to college. And a lot of times they forget about even getting in relationships with men. And what happens is by the, before they know it, they're 30 years old and they have to start. They don't have as much leeway in picking who they want when they're as when they're younger. So do you think women your age should do both? Like what, the women that were my age, they would go to college, get educated, but they would also go there with the back of the mind thinking open minded. Yeah, maybe I'll find a guy here to marry and hook up and be married to. Do you look at college that way or not at your age? Yeah, well, I definitely look at it more for, like, education, but I also look at it in meeting new people, meeting possible boyfriends, like, all that. Like, mm -hmm. you could find the love of your life at college. I just think it's important that you keep an open mind and get to meet everybody and all that. Now, take this as a compliment. You don't look like you have an 18-year-old body, let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you look more mature. Like, if I saw you on the street, you look... I would think you were like 23, 24, 25. Do people yeah. confuse you a lot with that? For the obvious, yeah. I mean, we both know why. You look older, right? Yeah, I have been invited into many bars before. Um, I have to like tell them like I'm not technically allowed in certain bars because I am 18 and some bars are 21 yeah. and over. But that, yeah, go ahead. Well, I was gonna ask you- can get awkward. <laughs> what do you think is the biggest giveaway why a man or men, whatever, would think that you're older than 18. Like, what what are the characteristics? Your lips, your nose, your eyes? Um, your hair? Probably just, I mean, when you look at me on the street, like, you're obviously going to see, like, certain aspects first, like, my body and stuff like that. But also, sure. like, if anybody who's ever talked to me, like, they also think yeah. I'm older because of how, like, I carry myself and how I act. Yes, you're very much, you're more mature. You have yeah. to come across like a 23 year old. Yeah. Partly, I think, because you're not one of these far left, woke, purple haired idiots that we see on YouTube in the news. And you seem like you got your shit together for the most part. So, like, my guess is this you probably came from a mother and father, right? You don't seem like you're raised by a single mom. I could be wrong, but I usually am pretty right. Am I correct? Usually I'm correct. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Were yeah. you raised by a single mom? No, okay. I have both a mom and dad, yeah. I knew that, see. Yeah. I knew that, see. So, guys, she's a good catch for you, but <laughs> do you find with a lot of these younger guys under 30, they're not, you're used to a real masculine type man, probably, I would imagine, coming from Ohio. It just is more, a lot of people, unless you go to Ohio, Jim Jordan country. That is Jim Jordan your congressman? Probably, yeah. Okay, so when you're from that country, women from that country, that's the mid... Is Ohio considered the Midwest? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So, guys, I want to make or, a point I mean, here. Sorry, the Mideast. The Mideast, but still. The value... Yeah. Guys, I'm telling you, you don't have to go passport bros and all this to find a good woman. You could... Am I right? You know... You're familiar. Are you familiar with the passport bros going overseas to find All a good right. Aspen? Five minutes are up. Uh, okay, so <laughs> Aspen, uh, would you yeah, go on a holy? Yeah. Um, I yeah. would say yes if he was like younger. Like he had good conversation. He Ooh. had good personality. Like he was actually asking questions and could keep a conversation going. Okay. All but right. Also, so you... I would watch political views because obviously, like some girls do sway conservative or um 
right and left. So it's important that you like don't bring up politics on the first day. I would save that for a little bit later. So if Spicoli said he was like 25, whatever, the answer would be a full on yes. Um, yeah. All right. Go Spicoli. You got the first W Thanks. of the day. You got the first. Thanks, Aspen. And also, my politics is central anyway. I'm a centrist. <laughs> I'm left on some things, right on the other. So I'm right in the center anyway. I'm a centrist, obviously. All right. Nice meeting you, Aspen. Good luck nice on your further you dating. Too. So, Alex, I still have my right. See, if we speed date, we go. We have our rights to be able to say what we want in the chat because these other guys talk yes, crap. Yes, but yes, they don't yes, yes. If you if you go on, you can talk all the shit you want. So you've earned your shit talking through this. Right. And uh, you got the first double. Thank so you. All right, buddy. Yeah. Take thank care. You. All right, guys, if Spicoli can do it, then all you motherfuckers can do it. Okay, let me quickly address a few things. All right, Pauler, uh, activating the don't be a bitch rule for you. So if you you can more than welcome him on after the show uh, and uh, make all your allegations to me directly, I will happily address all of them. Uh, but if you're not willing to do that, then don't be a bitch. RPG, no one is threatening you, but you keep spamming the chat over and over again, and all you do is say negative, negative shit. So you are triggering don't be a bitch rule, which is why I'm giving you a heads up. But if you're not willing to do a speed date, you're not willing to come on the panel, all you want to do is talk shit in the chat, you're contributing absolutely nothing to the channel, then yes, we are going to, you know, we're going to give people warnings. But if you're being a bitch, then, you know, you're, we're going to call you a bitch, and you're going to be in violation of the don't be a bitch rule. All right. So anyway, let's move on to the next person. Uh, Ghost Hunter. Oh, we up, we up. What's up, guys? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, uh, Aspen. Yeah. All right, you ready? I'm good. Yeah, let's get it. Oh wait, one second, actually. Uh, all right, now we're good. How you doing? So what, what's your name? Uh, Ghost Hunter. Okay. What's yours? Um, Aspen. Aspen. <laughs> yeah, I could read this all. Uh, are, are you from bodyguards oh, in the back? Oh, uh, they're just my bodyguards. Your bodyguards? Yeah, I'm the son okay. of the president of Nigeria, so. Uh, okay, great. Yeah, where are you from? Ohio. Ohio, why do you have Hatfield in your name? Um, That's my last name. That's like the place I live, so I was like, what the hell, do you live in Hatfield? No. That's ridiculous. All right, all right, tell me, what's your type? Um, Like in personality-wise or strictly looks? Looks-wise. Um, like tall, tan, dark black. hair, black. <laughs> what? What? Black. black. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Do you have any questions for my bodyguards by any chance? Um. No. No. no you don't. What, should you I don't. ask him a question? This guy's tanned, tall. He's like six foot two. Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm also six foot two, by the way. So if you want to go black. You know how tall are all y'all? Uh, I'm six foot. He's like six foot one. He's uh, I don't even know what he is. Like five one. <laughs> I'm with you, man. <laughs> so do they just? Oh, they together? don't. They talk when I tell them to talk. Okay, great. Got yeah, it. they serve. Uh, do you want to join my bodyguard group? Do you want to be one of my? Yes, is that yes? Yeah, sure. What do I gotta yeah, do? Sure. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I was, I was gonna ask this uh, very uh, controversial question. Do you okay, want me great. to go for it? Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, what's your cup size? Oh, um, <laughs> triple D. The, the chat's one triple D. Yeah, yo, yo, all right, you'll have to move to Hatfield, you know, like <laughs> it just doesn't work. Where is that? That's in the UK, like north oh, of England. I thought you yeah. had an accent. Uh, no, I don't. I'm Nigerian. Mm, My yeah, dad's the president, Tinubu, Google him. Okay. That's why I roam around with bodyguards and stuff, you know, for security reasons. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah, do you have any questions for me? Um, are they going to like come and murder me? Oh, no, don't worry about them. They, they serve. They do whatever you want them to do. As long as you, you're with me, of course, right? Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, tell me about yourself. What do you do? Um, for fun in life, like, be more specific. I don't know, like, your most interesting point. School. Um, what do you do? What's your job? What do you do? Like, oh, well, I'm just a full time college student. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. First year, second year? First year. First year. How are you finding it? Good. I really like it. I'm really interested in my major, so that's good. What do you do? 
Um, I major in psychology. Dude, that's that's like a classic for all the pretty girls. <laughs> Are you calling me pretty? Did I? Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> it slipped out. You didn't mean it? Yeah, so when are you... No, I mean it, of course. Uh, when are you moving to the UK? When am I moving to the UK? Yeah, so we um, can hang out. I, no, I'm not going to be moving, but maybe I'll visit. Maybe you'll visit. Uh, yeah, you'll have I'll to visit. visit. Yeah. All right. Uh, which one of my bodyguards are you taking tonight? The one with the sunglasses. They're both wearing sunglasses. What do you mean? <laughs> the one right behind you. This this one? Yeah, 6'2". 6'2", dude. Wait, what do you... What do you fuck? <laughs> Yo, you're not supposed to react. What the fuck? That's unprofessional, man. Jeez, don't, don't mind him. He's crazy. Can I know their names or are they only known as Bodyguard 1 and 2? So, ABT1? ABT2. ABT1. ABT2. Okay, got it. Great. Like, that's like, that's their legit name. It's on their fucking birth certificate and everything. So, are they twins? No, they're bodyguards. What do you mean? Okay, got yeah. it. Yep. Makes sense. All right, all right. I want to ask us all, what are you wearing right now? Like, outfit voice. Oh, I'm wearing a black crop top from okay. Target. Can we and get then a little... green Nike sweatpants? Can we get a little spin by any chance? Uh, no. No? Oh, shit. No. What did I say wrong? The I'm just, I'm, there's not much room. Like, there's a wall right here. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, there's there's yeah. no room. Oh, fair. All right, at least, like, give me a little, a little, you know. Just a stand little. up. A little stand up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shit, you're fit. Oh, shit, you're actually fit. What the hell? Why was I fucking around? Uh, all right, on a serious note, what's your Instagram? Oh, 13.aspen. Check check me out, guys. <laughs> 13.aspen. All right, I'm going to add you on Instagram, right? And then... Okay, great. Make sure your bodyguard one adds me, too. Dude, are you right. taking the bodyguard one? That was definitely one of the more interesting speed dates I've seen. All right, Aspen, would you go on a, on a real date with Ghost Hunter? Yeah, if he brings his bodyguards, too. Yeah, so for, so, for your, so for your bros, well, you just hit up two of your friends, like, yo, I'm doing a speed date, and you guys to... Uh, uh <laughs> to uh hang out in the back no they're just staying over right and then i was like oh shit uh alex is doing the speed day thing so i was like do you guys want to hop on and then we decided to just get on with it that was pretty know? funny i think this was probably one of your best performances uh what do you like that he did um i like that he like actually asked questions like sometimes i feel like guys are too scared to like just ask questions but like most of the time girls aren't gonna freak out if you ask them their cup size <laughs> hey let's go have some balls. Uh, I do think you did it the right way where you're like, hey, uh, I'm going to ask it very – so you, you have to, like, soften it, right? So if you're like, hey, how big are your tits? Well, it's going to be different. Like, hey, I know this is a really random, inappropriate question. Do you mind if I ask you just a really random question? And then you, like, soften it like that, then it'll typically work better. But, yeah, not every girl is going to – well, like, it's going to be, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, I feel like – If you're actually you... serious, I'll hit you up on Instagram, okay? Okay, great. Uh, like, like, you, have, like, you have the balls. Like, I feel like that, for most women, is, like, the most attractive in men, like – when they can like do that leap and have the balls and ask questions, but he did it in the correct way and like how you said. Agreed, agreed. All right, cool, buddy. Thanks for coming on. I love you guys. Peace. Take care, buddy. Oh, let's bring on Sid. All right, so we have two yeses. Well, I think like four no's or something like that. All right, Sid. What's hey, up? what's up? I'm great. How are you guys? Pretty good. You have a massive lag though. Fuck. Is it that bad? Because I reset my Wi-Fi, everything, and it's still, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty bad, yeah. Okay, I'll try to figure something out. I'll come are you on your it. phone or are you on your computer? Phone, yeah. Maybe, do you want to try on your computer? Okay, yeah, I'll just try it. Yep. Very cool. Just All, right. All right, cool, drop the link. Uh, Michael, do you say you want to wait for two girls, or? Yeah, I'll, I'll do Aspen, actually. Okay. Yeah. I'll do myself. Hey, what's up, Aspen? How's your day? Um, it's going good. How about you? Yeah, I'm doing well. You know, working towards uh something like I really like. So, yeah. So, uh, you're into psychology, huh? Yeah. You like to like understand like the human mind? Yeah, I more like to psychologically evaluate people. Really? What what attracted you to that? Um, I don't know. I've just always had a passion for like how people think and what they do and why they act the way they do nice where do you see yourself in like 
10 years doing that? Um, a doctor and working at like um, a hospital in a big city. Nice. Like, is it like a specific kind you like uh, wanted to look at yet? Like there's um, like child psychology, there's like criminal. Yeah, so it's like child or adolescent psychology. I want to work with like more like middle through high school kids. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's going to go a long way. It's like the future, basically. Yeah. Are you in college? No, I'm actually an electrician. I'm like fifth year. I'm just like creating my own business right now. So, oh. yeah, I'm looking for work right now, too. So, is that your mom's yeah. basement that you're in? Uh, it's, it's family basement. Yeah. Do you live there I'm doing that because I like, could save tons of cash. That's why. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Like, uh, are you in your mom's basement? Um, no, I'm in, well, I mean, I'm in my mom's house since we're in college and I normally would be in my dorm. Yeah, save up right now. You know, it's, you want to like get ready to buy a house. Yeah. Next year. Yeah. So how old are you? 23. Okay. How about you? 18. Dang. Yeah. Welcome to like the uh, adult world. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of it so far? Um, nothing changed. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you like to do for fun? Well, I'm a musician, so I make like tons of music. You probably see me one day. Okay. Like on what, the stage, you know. Like what? What kind of music? It's like a totally new type of music, but uh, yeah. It's like awesome. I guess it's like, like sort of like a rock music. Okay. Where do you wanna like? What do you wanna do with that? Well, I wanna get on like the Fortune 500 company or actually the Billboard 500 best songs ever written. So it's here. Okay. Yeah. So it's like the ultimate goal. Oh no no! My ultimate goal is like uh, getting into real estate. Oh, real estate. What about you, you like besides uh, psychology you ever try like modeling uh yeah i model for a couple companies right now but other than that i normally just do it for like fun that's how it is it like uh, clothing um well, i modeled for a prom dress company for a little bit but my contract expired and then i have a couple ambassadorships through di different companies awesome are you trying to like get deeper into that um yeah a little bit but i mean there's so many girls out there doing it. I'm not holding my breath. Wow. That's pretty tight. Hmm. What about you? Do you want to be a model? People uh, said I should look into it, but nah, not really. Why not? Uh, I just, I don't know. I like substance, basically. Like, uh, you know, I, I, I like stuff that you got to have faith in. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, are uh, you, do you like dogs or cats? I gotta say, I'm a dog person. I like a little dog, but I'm looking for a big dog next, like an African Boer Bell. It's like this uh, 200 pound dog. What's your dream dog? Uh, African Boer Bell or Wolf Dog, like a mix between 50 50. Wolf. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Are you a cat lady or? A... Um, I have two dogs right now. Nice. Um, they're both really? lab. So. Oh, so they're big dogs, huh? Yeah, I'm definitely a big dog girl. I don't like the the small, yappy dogs. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Would you ever own like a like a bird? A bird? Yeah, like an owl. <laughs> um. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wanted to own one because they're like so mystical. Yet I heard they're real like jerks. Yeah, I think if you had to own like one exotic animal, what would it be? A tiger. Oh, mine's the same. I think I'd do a tiger. Yeah, a tiger and a lion, you know? Because if you treat them with, like, love when they're little. All right. Five them. minutes are up. All right, Aspen, would you go on a date with uh, Michael? Yeah. Really? I did not expect that. What, uh, would it be a romantic date or platonic date? Platonic. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what do you think you could have done better to make it a romantic date? Um, Maybe just, like, 
slur it a little bit more, like have the balls and like put yourself out there. Hmm. Like that's attractive, at least at least to me. What about, yeah. I, I should have asked you this for the previous guys. What about for the previous guys that you said uh, yes to? Uh, would it be romantic or platonic? There's two. There was, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, fucking Spicoli. And then there was the bodybuilder guy, body, body, whatever, um, bodyguard guy. The first one, platonic for sure. Um, I feel like he'd just be fun to hang out with. And then the second one, uh, I'd go romantic. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, so yeah, so I think this is kind of what I wrote down. I think this conversation got awkward a good amount. There was a lot of like pauses or pauses where she had to kind of carry the combo. Women like hate carrying the combo, so whenever that happens, you're definitely like losing uh, points. Uh, so yeah, so I would say that's that's definitely uh, that's definitely a big one. Uh, but yeah, also there was not really any kind of flirting or sexual tension. Uh, similar advice, basically similar feedback I gave to Side Smoke. I would give to you as well. Got you, brother. But yeah, dude, thanks for coming on. You'll get better if you keep doing it. Yeah, I will. Peace, brother. Have a good day. All right, take care. All right, let's see. All right, why not? Whatever, Zane. I'll give you an exception since we were a little slow backstage. What's up? Hey, buddy. What's going on with you? Not much. All right, so typically I never do camera off, but we're a little bit empty backstage, and you asked nicely, so I'll, I'll do it for you. Appreciate it. Appreciate right, it. I'll take myself. How you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. So I did hear you like sports. I played uh, football in high school, so I'm very big on sports. What's your favorite team and why? Um, like collegiate or NFL? NFL. NFL. I feel like I just got to go with the Browns. Like, I feel like that's pretty good. Are you big into like the older kind of like style, kind of like back in like the 2010 era? Like they had Dante Culpepper for the Vikings and stuff like that. I was really big into that era too. Um, I kind of recently just got into football, so, I mean. Okay, so I'm guessing you just graduated from high school, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Did you play any sports? Um, I played volleyball in high school, but no. Okay, what what made you go to volleyball instead of any other sport? Um, I don't know. I just kind of always wanted to play volleyball, and I started, like, seventh grade, and I just kept with it. Right. Were you ever, like, destined to go pro? I don't really know if there's much of a pro league for volleyball, but, you know, you can information me more on that. Um, no. Once senior year was over, I was I was done. Right. So are you studying psychology right now? Yeah. Right. What allures you to psychology exactly? Um, I've just always liked to know how people, like, why they think the way they do, why they do stuff that they do, like, how they behave, what makes them tick, like, all that stuff. Yeah, that's really fascinating. I ended up like, I'm really against like the whole, oh, you have to go to college to kind of learn. Like I read a lot of like books on psychology and I think it's fascinating, like the criminal minds and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I really am fascinated by like what makes serial killers do certain things or do certain people do certain things, you know? It's very intriguing to me. Yeah, so you said that you played football in high school? Yeah, exactly. What position did you play? Tight end. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were never crazy. Um, we never made it to like states or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I'm 6'5", so like I'm kind of taller up there. Um, I wanted to be QB, but the, the coach's son was actually that, so I never actually got to do that. And people are like, oh, I don't believe that actually happens. No, there's a lot of times where the coach's son is usually the starting position. So like the other people don't shine at all. Yeah, that happens a lot at um, my sure. high school. So, Can you real play? Yeah. Did okay, you cool. go to college at all or straight into the workforce? So I, I went straight to the workforce. Um, I kind of got sucked into the whole Andrew Tate bubble, you know, and it, I think it's also really important to like evolve as a person. Wait, sorry, and, uh, you said Andrew Tate? No, 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 no. Listen, listen. So I went into like the bubble because I grew up without a father, actually. So like I, I kind of didn't have like the dad figure growing up. So probably about two years ago, I got sucked into like the Andrew Tate bubble and I've like kind of like kind of wanted to do my own business thing. But then I kind of realized that it's not as easy as everybody makes it seem, you know, and so that kind of failed. But now I'm currently going to college right now. Um, I won't be talking about any of that because I probably know a few people that are actually going to my college in here. Um, that's why I won't camera up, actually. But, um, you know, I'm going to that and stuff like that. It's just it's kind of weird because I really wanted to. Um, you know, go to call or make my business and all that stuff and really make it all my own. 
But I think like it was a self learning lesson that like what Andrew Tate was saying was BS, at least on my part, in my opinion. And it's a lot harder than people actually make it seem to be, you know? Yeah. So what like was your like what was your opinion on Andrew Tate and like what he thought? I didn't really care too much about the relationship thing. Um, I was more on the the mindset of like um, making money. That's where I was really big on. And I like read the whole course he did, watched the whole five hours. And I I believe a lot of, there's a lot of corruption in the like workplace. A lot of CEOs take advantage of women, um, you know, just labor prices and all that kind of stuff. So like, I'm very big on um, trying to make that like not be an asshole boss. But with Andrew Tate's logic, and if I try to twist it my own way, um, it just didn't work out too much. So, I mean, overall, I mean, maybe um, he has a few motivational quotes, but I mean, besides going to the gym, there's nothing really valuable there for me, at least. I can't say for other people because I don't believe in talking about other people or like giving other people if he hasn't changed their life. But for mine, it just wasn't me. It wasn't something I could believe in. And it just it wasn't something that worked for me at the end of the day. Um, so you said that you're six five. What other, um, like, what do you look like? I guess since I can't see you. Yeah, so I have blue eyes, um, and I have uh, dark brown hair. Um, I did modeling for Route Twenty One when I was in high school. Um, I did a little bit of boxing. My mom ended up taking me out of modeling because um, she, she, I was like, I'm really set on boxing, and she's like, No, here, do this, saying do this, and so the conflict of do you want to get your face punched in? And do you want to actually pursue modeling? You know, like I can't come to a photo shoot with a freaking black eye, you know? So yeah. it was, so I being that, you know, daddy issue, I should kind of say I wanted to be tough and all that. Like Andrew Tate says, where the fuck, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but that's, I, I chose boxing. I really wish I would have saved modeling and stuff at that time. Do you do modeling or anything? Uh, yeah, I model a little bit. Um, if you don't mind, what's your Instagram? I know that you said some people are on here, so that's why you don't show your face. Um, do you actually, can you send me yours and I can DM you after this, actually? Yeah, I can just, like, do you just want to know right now? Uh, yeah, one second. Okay. All right, go ahead. Are you actually, um, you just, just type it in the private chat. Can you do that real quick? Um, let me see. I'm actually using my phone to do this. All right, cool, cool. Let me see if it'll work. Okay, I just dropped it in the chat. Hopefully got it, I got it, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, you're fitting, you're fitting all the requirements, the 6'5", blue eyes, dark brown hair. You know, so like, what is your... The see, daddy issues, that's a good one, too. I Well, I'm very honest. I don't... I, see, I think a lot of times on here, we're so, like, fake. You know, like, when we go to family functions and all this kind of stuff, we're really fake. We put on this fake smile. Even, like, when we're, like, behind the cashier register, if you're, like, a, you know, a cashier, right? Mm -hmm. You're, like... Oh, uh, put on a smile. The customer's always right, but you're still acting that fakeness. Like when you're at a family event, uncle might be talking shit about you, but you're like, oh, that's just silly uncle, even though you're really hurting and you put on this fake smile. Mm -hmm. I think it's very honest about, like it's very honesty and just like be yourself at the end of the day. You know, we're not all perp perfect at the end of the day. And people like Andrew Tate and a lot of other people act like they're perfect when they're not. We all have flaws. Yeah, um, I completely agree with that. I'm very like, upfront and honest about everything like i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna feed you bullshit like it's gonna give it to you straight do you feel like um psychology like you're kind of intrigued by that from, like the criminal mind aspect um so i want to mainly focus on like childhood and adolescent psychology but my backup plan was to always be a criminal profiler and like figure out why they commit the crimes that they do so that was like option b yeah, that's amazing. I'm I'm really big on like why you know like the whole like serial killer like memorabilia people actually like collect that. And mm -hmm. so like I'm like people are actually idolizing. Oh, wow. oh. Five minutes are up. All right. So Aspen, would you go on a date with Zane? Yes. Interesting. Would it be a romantic date or platonic date? I think it'd be romantic. Interesting. Uh what uh what did you like? Um, I liked how he was like straight up, straightforward. I liked that he talked, but also asked questions back. I felt like the conversation went smooth. Obviously, he hit the five six, blue eyes, dark brown hair. Like that was all good. Well, you don't really know that for a fact yet. <laughs> no, he could be completely lying to me. But once he adds me on Instagram, I'll know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fact Yeah, I mean, I mean, if I was 
very open and honest about like laws of daddy issues, I don't think I'd be lying about what I look like. Just keep it. Yeah, the only FYI. thing is, I wouldn't mention Andrew Tate because a lot of girls don't like Andrew Tate, and even though you don't care about Andrew Tate in the relationship aspect, that's a big red flag. The second his name pops. Right. I appreciate that. I really do. We can only yeah. do nothing but grow. You know. Yeah. My feedback, my feedback is that I think it still was way too logical. I would uh, definitely try to find ways to make the conversation more flirty. So, like for example, I'd ask him, ask me if I like Andrew Tate. Do you like Andrew Tate? Yeah, I'm one of his biggest fanboys. I like literally hanging outside his house in Romania. Do you want to? Be, do you want to join the Andrew Tate fan club with me? Uh, no, not particularly. Alex, who got the W here and who hasn't can, yet? Can, leave it at we, that. Just leave it at that, Alex. Who got the W? Who hasn't? Just leave it at that, buddy. Well, that's the part of the show is where I give people feedback. Oh, no, 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 no. Who got the W? You have a great day, though. Aspen, it was amazing meeting you, and I'll DM you here. Are you, like, so, like, unopen to feedback? Like, you look dude, what up? <laughs> that dude is, like, so excited. Oh, my God, I got a W. <laughs> Alex is giving me feedback. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't. I can't handle this. My ego. He's no never survive. I wonder if he's actually 6'5 or not. Uh, we'll see. I Let just, me know. Yeah, can What's, you fact check that for me? How? He, he, you, you said that he's going to add you on Instagram. How can I? Yeah, find? hopefully. He could be a catfish, though. What happens if I get murdered? If I get murdered, will you at least pay for my funeral? Uh, I'll go 50s on it. But yeah, let me let me know if actually I'm curious. I'm, my speculation is that he's not, but uh, I don't know. Maybe he is. I don't know. 6'5? It's, it's like 0.1% of the population. I mean, I guess it could be, but I don't know. Not buying. I, I would have Chad not want to turn on his camera. Like, you would think that, like, if anything, it should be the opposite. But the fact yeah, that he's, like he's got blue eyes, dark brown hair, and he's six five. That's a little bit red flag. Unless it's backwards, he could be five six. But if it's a dude who's like so defensive, I don't know. I just can't imagine like a dude who gets a lot of ass being so defensive. But hey, you never know. Uh, all right, cool. Anyway, let's bring on the next person. Oh, the, the feedback that I was gonna give was that yeah, I still think the conversation was uh, too uh, too platonic. I think you could definitely uh be less logical and be uh more flirtatious so that's the same feedback i literally give for every person uh okay let's bring on sid hey so is the lag better or what uh it's a lot better yeah okay yep so i'm ready to go hey aspen how's it going it's good how are, how are you i'm doing good i'm doing good so earlier i heard you said that you go to school in ohio right mm-hmm so do you live in Ohio because of school or do you want to settle down in Ohio itself? Um, so I was like born in Ohio, born and raised, oh. but the ultimate goal is after I finish my college, I'll move to Florida. That's like where I want to settle down. Oh, that's nice. And what do you study right now? Psychology. Are you in college? No. So I graduated in December. So currently I'm working. I'm a data analyst. Okay. Yeah. So is psychology something you're passionate about or? Uh, I do do that just for, you know, like it's a good, uh, you know, occupation to be in. No, it's just always been something that I'm really interested uh -huh. in. I like knowing, um, like I like being able to get inside people's heads. Oh, that's nice. And outside of work, uh, what are your other passions, like hobbies and stuff? Um, I like reading, working out, hanging out with friends, shopping, you know, all the girly stuff. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, wh wh when was the last time you were on? an uh, adventure let's say like what do you what do you mean by adventure like, like traveling like traveling and stuff um i just traveled to panama city beach for spring break actually oh that's nice that's nice yeah uh so i used to travel a lot before covid and that kind of stopped after covid mm -hmm. so i i am originally from india i moved to the us in 2018. do you have a passion for traveling then yeah i do i love traveling yeah I want to at least, you know, visit every country in the world for a considerable period of time. That's something mm -hmm. I really want to do. Yeah. But yeah, as of I'm now, do you only... interested in studying abroad? That's my big really? thing. So abroad, like where? Um, the UK, like mm -hmm. Europe area. Oh, Europe area. Nice. That's nice. So what kind of guys are you into? Um, like I said, tall, tan, mm -hmm. dark hair. I like dark features personally. Oh, that's nice. So have you ever been with an Indian before? No, I have not. I've been with you a should... white guy and uh, a mixed guy. Oh, Fun you're fact. missing out. You're missing out big time. <laughs> can, you, can you cook me good food? Yeah, definitely. But Indian I'm... food is the best food in the world. Yeah. But I'm white, so I don't like spice. So you got to be careful. I can tone down the spice for you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. We can work around that. We can work around that. Like yeah, Even I without just... the spice, Indian food is the tastiest food in the world. Okay, no good. Cap. 
Is that yeah. like your favorite? Yeah, cuisine? it is. It is. Yeah. Like at least once a week I cook Indian food, but cooking that is a pain sometimes. So mm -hmm. that's the reason it's only once a week. Otherwise, you know, just cooking chicken here and there, like the American style. Yeah. So if I went on a if I went out on a date with you, uh -huh. like what would our first yeah. date be? So our first date would I'll be splitting a bottle of wine in my romantic balcony, and then I would cook you Indian food. How does that sound? Um, yeah, okay. That sounds That's great, good. right? Yeah. What so kind are of you coming to white wine? Red, red wine. wine. I love red wine. What about you? I've honestly never had wine. You've never had wine? Never had right. wine. What? Oh, yeah. You're not 21 yet. I get that. Yeah. So I guess this would be our little secret. You don't report me to the cops for giving you wine and I'll give you the best wine in the world. How does that sound? Okay, that's fair deal. Fair deal, yeah. <laughs> so what else do you like to do for fun? Apart from, you know, hanging out with friends, partying and stuff? Um, like I said, reading, going to gym. I'm really big into reading, so. Oh, reading. So what was the last book that you read that you really, really liked? Um, actually, I just finished A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. Oh, uh, what's that it's about? A, like, It's a romance book. Oh, romance book. I'm not that much into romance book. I love, you know, fiction, fantasy kind of thing. So uh, have you ever heard of the book called The Scarlet Pimpernel? No. Yeah, you should give it a go. It's one of the best books I've ever read. Okay, it, I'll have to try it. Yeah, that could be our second date, you know? Go to the <laughs> library, sit and read. Oh, yeah. And then break some rules, break some library rules, and then get thrown out of the library because of that. We'll have to see. We'll have to see that how the first day good. goes. Yeah. Oh, it's going to go pretty well, I feel. Yeah. Are you confident? That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Confidence uh, is attractive. It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you said that you just turned 18, like, back in July, right? And now you're going to turn 19 real quick? 19 yeah. real soon? Yeah. So do you have, like, any internships or something that you've done before, like, within this time? Um, not yet, but I'm hoping to be able to internship with um, my college's psychologist. Okay. And in psychology, are you specializing in some field, like something specific or what? Um, like childhood, adolescent psychology is when I want to specialize. Uh -huh. in. Oh, that, that's actually pretty good. So one of my friends is a psychologist. Uh, she actually specializes in, I think, uh, Asperger's syndrome. Okay. So she, yeah, so that's why I was wondering, like, because the psychology is like such a huge field and people can uh, specialize in various things. It's very fascinating. I really like that. Yeah, there's so much that you can that. do with a psychology degree. Mm -hmm. So what made you want to go into psychology? Like, is there a particular reason why you like psychology? Um, well, like when I was younger, I was kind of like the therapist friend. So I was uh, kind of just born into the, into the psychologist role. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. So I actually, I'm, like I said before, I'm a data analyst. I love, uh, ha you know, working with data, analyzing stuff. So the best thing about that is it's like, it's basically, you don't know what, a, uh, you don't know the answer to a problem and you spend loads amount of time trying to solve that problem. And once you solve that problem, the feeling of accomplishment you get is priceless. Yeah. That's the reason I, yeah, that's the reason I like this, like my job basically. Yeah. I'm currently in Chicago. So. Okay. Yeah, that's like how far from Ohio that is. I've never been to Ohio. Um, I've been to Chicago like maybe once. About, I don't know. How far is it? I don't know. I think uh, probably six to seven hours. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Though. I was going to say about six hours probably. Six hours, yeah. So when we're, when you were in Chicago, what do you do here? There's so um, much well, to do here. I was yeah. actually there when I was like eight for a cheer competition. Uh -huh. So. All right. Uh -huh. Applies. All right, Aspen, would you go on a date with Sid? Yeah, I think so. All right. Would it be a romantic or platonic date? Um, I feel like platonic at first, and then we'll see like if it transforms into romantic. So you feel like this one has some hope for being a romantic? Yes. All right. This is your first semi-W. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, but it's, it's the best you've ever done. I do think you're getting better. I think mm -hmm. you are you know, one of those people that learn slow, but you know, that's a lot of people. But I do see improvement. Uh, my feedback for you is still mm. the same exact as it's always been. I still think you can be yeah. more flirty. I still yeah, think more flirty. you can control tension, but uh, okay. you're moving in the right direction. That's what matters. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. Your feedback has been phenomenal. Trust me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, yeah. Keep, keep coming on. Yeah. It was nice meeting you, Aspen. Nice meeting you. See ya. Uh, Bye. See ya. Yeah.
All right, cool. It's good to see. This is the first W he's ever gotten. It's like a semi W, but you know, it's still a uh, still uh, still a step in the right direction. You know, she said it has potential to become romantic, uh, which you know it's not ideal, but it's uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, all right, let's bring on the next person. All right, Greg, I see you backstage. Let me bring on Brian because he was here first, and then you're next. Uh, okay. Yo, I'm not sure if you can uh, hear me. Can you hear uh, me? We can, we can hear just fine. I can't hear anything. <laughs> All right, cool. Anyway, man. Uh, you can't hear it? I can't hear anything. Okay, so just, just restart your thing and we'll bring you on afterwards. All right. Hey, Welcome what's, up, Greg. what's up? All right, you ready? Sure, let's get it. Hey, what's okay. going on? You're kind of cute. Kind of? Yeah. Oh, I can't really see you that well, to be honest. Yeah. It's not you, it's me. Yeah? Oh. Yeah, full yeah. transparency, I'm blind. I need You're contact. Blind? No, you don't not have 20 blind. vision? No. No. Do you? I don't know. Let's find out. Our first date's going to be going to eye doctor. An eye doctor? Okay. Yeah, such a romantic that. date, right? Get our vision. Can you buy my contacts? Buy your contacts? I don't know. Are you going to buy me a full course meal? No, but you could no. buy me a four, full course meal. Four course meal? Oh, so we're, we're sharing a four for four, right? Yeah, I'll if you pay the bill, I'll get the tip. Yeah, what what kind of tip? Well, like a good tip. You tip well. Yeah, at All least right, I'll, handle, I'll handle the tip. So tell me, uh, what's something interesting about you? Um, that's such a broad question. Nothing's interesting about me. I'm boring. I live a boring life. I'm I'm on this speed dating. I model yes. occasionally. I so read. So boring. <laughs> I I'm in college. I party occasionally. What about yeah, you? So, What's interesting yeah. about you? Uh, what do you major in college, by the way? Psychology. Do you go to college? Yeah, I'm in school. What do you major in? Criminal justice. My minor is psychology, so it's kind okay. of interesting. Yeah. Um, How old are you? I'll, what was that? How old are you? Take a guess. Mm, 19. I'll give you one more guess. Older or younger? Older. Oh. <laughs> He's like studying my face. Got to, got to get well, every I can't little see. detail. Yeah. Give you. I would minute. guess. Oh, you look kind of young. You're not 19. I don't. I am not 19. I get that a lot though. I will give you one more guess. You okay. Uh, was I close? Not even. <laughs> 20, 23, 27. 20, 27. 27. Yeah, mind blown, right? Yeah, you have a baby face. I know, I get that a lot. How old are you? I'm 18, about to turn 19. Yeah? Are you turning up? What do you mean, turning up? Turning up? Like, are you getting lit for your 19th birthday? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, I don't know. You gotta go big or go home. That's the motto. Uh, yeah, but like, I don't, I'm not gonna plan it right now. It's too early. Too early? When is your birthday? July. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you could say it's a little early. So, like, do you have any, like, interesting hobbies or, like? Um, I read, I shop, I'll spend all your money if you let me. Uh, yeah, you're going to be my sugar mama? Oh, if you insist. No, you'll be my sugar daddy. Oh, I thought you said you are going to give me your credit card details. Okay, I'll be waiting. No, 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 you're uh, nah. your credit card. I'll you just be daddy. I don't have any sugar, though. Oh. So, so heartbreaking. So it is. Are I, gotta you, write that, are, I gotta write that down. No. Oh, at least you're taking notes. That's good. I so am. Are, are you like a wine type of gal? Um, I'm, no, I'm a vodka type of girl. Okay, what kind of vodka are we talking? Tito's. Or, okay, I'm rushing to like. Wait, pause, pause. Pause. She needs to think. Ciroc. Okay, Ciroc is a good choice. Mm -hmm. Grey Goose is also a good choice. Grey That's Goose what is all the good, but it's, oh, you know what's rough though? What? Um. Grey Goose going down, for me at least. It, it's rough going down? It is rough going down. So, so you, is Buckeye. Is it though? Are you sure? I can't remember. They're all mixing together. I thought you'd be good at taking it down, no? Those supposed to be so... Okay, whatever. Moving on. Fun fact, I'm allergic to beer. You're allergic to beer? Well... Yep. Uh, is it like a gluten thing or...? No, it's malt. Well, damn, that sucks. Well, beer isn't like it, it's not my go-to, so yeah, no, gotta I worry about that. Nasty. What's your go-to? Uh, red wine is good. 
Like rosé, actually, is my weakness. And really? sometimes... You're a rosé guy. I can... Yeah, a rosé guy. Okay. Yeah. Do I not look like a rosé guy? No, you look exactly like a rosé guy. Rosé? Worries me a little bit. Worries? You should yeah. be very worried. Um, I got you, you trembling. What was that? Are you in the closet? What, like a Louis Vuitton closet? I didn't know that they make those. No, like... I prefer Gucci. Like, personally, my closet's Gucci, only designer. We don't my do dog's name is Gucci, fun fact. Yeah. Oh, so you're a dog type of gal. Mm -hmm. And how many dogs do you have? Two. Two? Do you have any dogs? Nope, I'm mm -hmm. allergic. Oh my god, this is never going to work out. Oh, it is going to work out. It's nothing Claritin couldn't solve. Okay, as long as you fix that. I mean, Claritin fixes everything. So are you a cat guy? Honestly, I mean, I like both animals, cats and dogs. The more, the merrier. All right. So, Aspen, would you go on a date with Greg? Uh, yeah. Would it be a romantic or platonic date? It'd be romantic. Oh, okay. crap. What do you What do you like that he uh, he did, and what do you think he could have done better? Um, he was just kind of cute, and he 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 was a little flirty, which is like a little bit different from all the other guys. Um, I feel like the conversation went well. Like we were bouncing back and forth pretty good. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't really have any new feedback for you that I haven't given you a bazillion exactly. pounds. All right, good job, buddy. Hey, only doves. Take care. Peace. <laughs> All right, take care. Well, the black pill has to establish whether Greg is uh, is a normie or he's a chat. It can only it can only be a black pill W if Greg is a chat, right? So you can't uh, you can't have it both ways. All right, let's bring on Brian. Yo, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, we can hear. You. Okay, perfect. Mom, I'm so sorry about the whole dropping out the chat so soon. It's okay. It's not a big deal. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You're still kind of freezing, but let's see. What, let's see. All right. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> your um your video screen on my end is frozen, and you have like the funniest face right now. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> no, you look. Uh, you look like a uh, like a movie character from uh, uh, Cloudy with the Meatballs. Oh my God, that's horrible! Don't tell me that ever again. <laughs> it's cute though. It's cute. I like it. I fuck with it. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> screenshot it and put it up as my wallpaper. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. Uh, where are you from? Ohio. Where are you from? Ohio. Fuck, that's far. Is there races out there? Is it racist? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I've heard I've heard a lot of uh, I've heard a lot of racist things about Ohio. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm a little bit I'm a little bit hesitant. Are you? About, what's your ethnicity? I'm Hispanic. I what do I look like though? Let me write that down. That's that's a positive. How do you spell your name? It's a good thing. Are you are you yeah. into Hispanic? Are you into Latinos? Um, I like them spicy personally. Uh, what what, what ethnicity are you? I'm white. Oh, you're white. You look you look a you look a little bit Hispanic yourself. You know what? I'm gonna take that as a compliment, and we're moving on. If I if we went on a first date, what would our date be? You know, okay. First of all, <laughs> that is a positive. Second of all, you know what makes me think that you look Hispanic? My dark hair, and I'm tan. Yes, it's it's the perfect tanning. I do lay in a cancer bed every day. So. Okay. <laughs> cancer bed, that's funny. Um, yeah. So, what, what was your question? If we were to go on a date, like, what what would we do? Okay. Um, let me think. Like, what what kind of date are we talking? Like, are we talking about like a one night stand, like oh, a real God. date? Like, that's gonna weird. be a no. Okay, immediately. Let me just let me write that down. A date. Well, that that's what I'm trying to get at because I feel um, like the definition one, of a date. A date is taking a girl out, interested in more than fucking her. So I'm gonna write that down, and that just got you the good points because you should never suggest a one night stand with a girl because frankly that's just not it's not cute. Okay, well here uh here's what I would where I would take you if we were going on a date if we were to go on a date. Would you pay for, for the whole me? Thing? 
like if I really vibe with you and if I really fuck with you, I think like for me, like the ideal day would be like somewhere out hiking. Um, I really like to hike. I'm a, I'm a nature person. So I like hiking. I like even like simple walk, walk at the park. It's like enough for me to like be like, yo, this is a good day already. Even like getting some smoothies and then like going out to the park and just walking around. It sounds so dumb, but like, I feel like that helps me connect with people a lot because I'm very, I'm a very social, I'm a very social guy. I'm, I'm not, not a social guy, but I'm very, I like connecting with people. I'm very in depth with people. So when I have the opportunity to connect with people, that's when it means the most to me. Okay, great. Um, You know, you were starting off really strong. And then you just like started just immediately just going downhill. You're gonna take me going hiking on a first date. Hiking, yeah, hiking, hiking, hiking. Walk, walk at the park, hiking, yeah, hiking, walk at the park, or I don't, I don't want to say like dinner. I don't, I don't think dinner is a good first date. I think that's a horrible. I mean, it could, it could be, it could be. Um, so you tell me yeah, that you're gonna bring me out in the middle of the woods to walk around. I'll show you around. No, that sounds like number one. I'm gonna get murdered. We'll, if you we'll put the we'll, we'll, three, we'll, if you're we'll, really interested in a girl, you need to take her out on a date to a nice. Yeah, you know what? You know what? The, you know what our date is gonna look show like. Me <laughs> in the back of your trunk. Okay, listen, listen to me for a second. Hey, Brian, that's you, you have you ever her? seen the? I think it's Snow White or Cinderella. Have you ever seen the movie? Have you ever seen the scene where like she's walking around the forest and she's got like the birds coming towards her and the deers and like all these animals are coming towards her? Yeah. That's gonna <laughs> that's gonna be our scene, except I'm gonna be the one that's gonna be like, yeah, come 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 in, gather around animals, and I'm gonna like we're gonna I'm gonna present them to you. I mean, like, yeah, that, yeah, that's my buddy. Is that before or after you kill me and put me in the back of your trunk? <laughs> All right, Aspen, would you go on a date with Brian? Absolutely not. Okay, what do you think he could have done better? Well, he had a lot of potential at first, and then, like, to bring up the one night stand, like, obviously, like, I already told him that's a big no. Number two, hiking. Like, I feel like for a second date, like, that's great. But for the first date, like, the world is a scary place. And, like, for girls, like, you don't want to offer them to take them into the middle of the woods. Like, that's just a big no. Like, I could go in the middle of the woods and meet this guy for the first time and never come out. So, you think, so initially you liked him, but when he talked about the one-night stand, what did he exactly, sorry, I was kind of uh, doing multiple things. What did he say about the one-night stands? He was just, so I asked him about the date, and he goes, well, like, a one-night stand? About your guys' date? Yeah. So, like, obviously, like, I just feel like not bring that up like when someone's asking you like what about a first date like don't bring up just like coming over fucking and leaving you know what i mean uh, yeah okay. sure, that's true. and the so second thing was the hiking I thing you got worried about the, you got you got all serial killer consoft okay yeah that's that's kind of tough i'll be like yeah we're gonna go hiking but i promise i'm not gonna kill you for now no i don't know yeah i probably See, but you, i can't trust that well, I mean, yeah, like I'm so so confused, if I was like, a serial killer, I would probably just like trick you, right? Right? Like a serial killer is not going to be honest. A serial killer would be like, yeah, let's just grab a drink and then plug. Like, I don't know. I don't know much about serial killers. So. Yeah, but in a hey, public hey, place, Alex, it's easier to get away. I, I do understand from a girl's perspective, though, how like there's certain like trigger words that they hear, like woods, basement, that sets <laughs> off like serial killer type of uh, anxiety. Uh, okay, what were you going to say, Brad? Hey, Alex, good question, too, because like, um, like back in the days, like I feel like saying walk at the park or like hike would be a good thing. And I feel like I'm really old school still. Like I like to take, I like to go out for walks and I like to like do uh, just like shit like that. Like I feel yeah, like I would, just, I, would just say, I would just say we'll go for a romantic walk instead of talking. Yeah, about yeah. but I'm, I'm curious as to like if you think maybe like modern dating is so different from now that like maybe like a walk at the park is such a creepy thing for them. Whereas no, in, back in the days, like that was different. very normal. Like I feel yeah. like. No, I went, on, I went on a walk a few days ago. No, Aspen, if I was to like, hey, yeah, so we're going to go for a nice romantic walk, would you would you be opposed to that? No, like like there's certain words that you use, like a romantic walk, walk in the park, hike in the woods. Like it's just two different things. Like in the park, like there should be other people around. We're in the woods, like you literally picture the woods. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So just the it's not like, it. that's kind of what I was saying. It's the it's the wording. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Understandable. Some some girls aren't gonna vibe with like how I talk, and some girls are. But well, it's not really it how you talk. You can, you can just change the wordage on that, right? And like avoid falling yeah. into this in the future. For sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm so definitely we'll go for, that. We'll go for a romantic stroll. Go ahead, oh, note go. that. Don't say hiking. <laughs> No, you can say hiking, but I would just say like, let's go. Uh, yeah, we'll go for a romantic stroll. I think that's like probably, uh, probably better. For sure. All right, buddy. Thanks for coming on. I'll see you next time. All right, thank you. All right, cool. All right, let's. Uh, who's next? Malik said she's gonna be here any second. Uh, okay, who wants to go next? Ideally, one of the shit talkers in the chat. I want to see you guys spit your game. You gotta let me know which ones are talking shit. No, I can't because that would bias the results. I'll just know in my head and I'll tell you afterwards. But I want to be able to like, I want to know. You'll know afterwards because I can't, I can't have, I can't bias your, uh, your reaction, right? Yeah, fair enough. But the, the thing is the trolls are never going to come on anyway because they don't. So uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Who's going on next? Come on, boys. What is you guys are bickering about like fucking random shit? I'm talking about fucking online. Well, man, I'm being so creepy. The shows right now. Okay. If he, didn't, if he didn't talk about uh fucking on night one, it may not have been so creepy. But she was already uncomfortable after that. Uh, yeah. Alex, if I come on, I'm not coming up. But why? You you're black pillar who thinks that you're good looking. Like I I don't understand this. Like your whole thing is like I'm a good looking black pillar and looks are the only things that matter. Why would you not want to show your looks? It's, doesn't make any sense to me. Um, okay. Um, yeah, just see if you can figure it out. Playing with fire. Uh, in this past week, I went with Dennis and got my first number after Finian purchase. Nice, man. Congratulations. Uh, I probably won't, though. My ex still lives with me. Okay. That's a discussion in of itself. You know, I want to be living with their ex. Uh, okay, what else do we have? I got to get back to that. Go on. I would go on by having tech issues, of course, of course. Always. Uh, <laughs> All right, we got one person. Uh, yeah, what's up? We can't see you. We can't see you. Okay. Uh, just fix your shit and I'll bring you back on. I'm like, Wait, I got a question. Have Has anybody ever like joined and then like immediately flashed their. Yes. Yes. Okay. That has happened, which is why we try to be really careful with that. What's up, Malik? We Hi, can't hear you. you. Good. What's going on? You look like you have a different background this time. Yeah. It's just crazy. I'm moving set up. So. Damn. Temporary Malik background. Is Alec is leaving her uh, her lair. I'm leaving my shed. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you want to quickly disclose uh, your new address live on air? My new home address? Yeah. So it's 123. Um, if you send me a dick pic, I will sue you for $30,000. You can look it up. That is a law. It's called cyber flashing. Um, and go fuck yourself if you're not already following me. Okay, that's uh, yeah. Like, what, what, what do I put into Google Maps? This seems like a little kind of confusing. Yeah, so you put exactly what I just said into Google Maps, and it will lead you to hell if if you try to like look me up, you know. Oh, because you're the devil, so you live in hell. No, I'm I'm like an angel, so like if you try to like fuck with me, like God, well, then will take you to heaven, heaven, right? If you're an angel, no, then no, 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 no. I will bring you to heaven, but if you try to get to heaven without me, you'll go to hell. Okay. All right. Makes sense. All right, we got a few people backstage. Let's bring on Joseph. What's up? Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. There we go. Can you hear us? Can you hear me, guys? We can hear you. Can you hear us? Yes, yes, I can. All right, cool. So who do you want to go on date with? Do you want to do both girls, one of the girls? What are you thinking? Uh, I wouldn't. I took one. That, no. You want to what? I will uh, go with the uh, Aspen. Aspen. Okay, cool. I'm gonna Aspen, me, sorry. Me and Malik. So, hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. 
So how you uh, did you, uh, what's your name? Real name? Uh, Aspen. Uh, what's that mean? Uh, you know, my English is, isn't my my language. Um, mine doesn't mean anything. It's just a name. Uh -huh. Does yours uh, mean so something? Uh -huh. Where are you from? Ohio. Where are you from? I am from Iraq. I'm going to be a guy. Okay. Uh, so, would you like uh, to come here? Um, no. Uh, what about, uh, tell me about your uh, country. What's uh, the good places in there? Um, well, I like want to come. Freedom. I mean, the economy is pretty good, I think. We are, you, are, jobs. are you originally from there? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Born and raised. <laughs> are you uh, sorry. from Iraq? Yeah, I am living there. I am waiting to come to America. Oh, okay. What, what's, uh, your, just, what's your sorry, first I thing that you want to do when you come to America? First thing, I have uh, a lot of things. Uh, first, uh, it's to make uh, a good uh, uh, job at uh, 3D sculpting. I sculpt uh, uh, ladies uh, in notes. Oh, okay. Like uh, head or and everything. So you Sorry sculpt? of my lack of English, but uh, it's not. So you sculpt people? Yes. Like I make do art? It. Yes. This oh, is my okay. job. I'm a 3D sculptor. What? Do you like it? Yes, it is uh, my job. Uh, yes, it's uh, so cool. But uh, I still a beginner. I'm still a beginner on it. What cho What made you choose sculpting? It's about. It's uh, something I started drawing, and after that I start uh, to learn about it, and I like it. Uh, like uh, the movies, uh, like uh, Disney, Pixar. Uh, I like uh, the light and the colorful things in it. Okay. This is uh, about uh, making uh, something, uh, creating something from nothing. This is uh, how I feel. Okay, that's kind of cool. What about you? What's uh, your like? What's your job? What's you like about it? Um, well, I'm actually a full-time college student, so I don't really have a job. I mean, so I study a lot. I go to, like, parties, all that. Oh. All that good American experience that you have when you go to college. Oh, so you must invite me in one of these. Oh, yeah, of course. You'll definitely have to come down to a frat party one time. Okay, it's a date then. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so what? I... Don't have anything uh, else to ask you. Um, but uh, uh, do you wear a necklace? What is this? Yeah. It's, uh, looks, it's it just looks basic, so cool. It's just a basic necklace. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tats, tattoos? Any what? Tattoos. Tats. Tattoos? Yeah, I just got one yeah. actually. This is right here on my uh, wrist. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe. No, you can't see. It's on like the inner inside of my wrist. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, what's it mean? Uh, I planning to have one. What do you want to get? Maybe in next month. Okay. Uh, it will be about uh, something like uh, Viking or something of that vibe. Why? Why Robert. that? Does it have like a meaning? Uh, because I like the Nor the Nordian mythology. Oh, okay. So you're into mythology? Yes, I am uh, into it. That's nice. What's your favorite uh, like mythology? Uh, my, uh, I have two. The old of Iraq is the Babylon mythology about uh, Enkidu and Gilgamesh, and the other it's about uh, uh, Odin and the other gods. I really like them. The Nordian one. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, what? Are, I sorry, I don't have any more question. Um, you're you're good. 
Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two siblings. Are they, uh, like they are twin, uh, younger than me. I have a twin siblings. Oh, I good. have. Mm, uh, they are uh, so good, uh, but uh, sometimes uh, they be annoying. <laughs> all right. Um. All right, Aspen. Would you go on a date with Joseph? Um. No, probably not. No. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think you could have done better? Um. Just like make more conversation. I felt like I had to carry the whole conversation in that. I do agree with that. Um. Mal, you have any feedback? I think I do want to point out that I think the language barrier was a little bit of an issue. It seemed like um, while Joseph did have good English, it seemed like his vocabulary wasn't as fluent as it could have been. And uh, he did have a thick accent, which I don't know. I could be wrong, but it seemed like Aspen had difficulty understanding what he was saying at times. Um, and he just didn't yes, find anything true. to connect with her on. Yeah, so I think also, yeah, just it just got awkward at times where there was like nothing. So I would like, I do always recommend having a few backup topics that you can bring up. Uh, so you never want to have this like awkward pause in the conversation that just like just kills the vibe completely. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like my take on that. Uh, oh, okay. I also just Thank want you. to point out that like the scratching your head the whole time is like a nervous thing. Um, I did notice that. I, yes, I don't know if you're nervous. You're like scratching your beard, scratching the back of your head. Um, I would just maybe try to avoid that too. Yes, it is a, a bad uh, habit. Yeah, well, we all have our nervous tics, so yeah, it's just important to be conscious of that. All right, buddy. Thanks uh, for Thank coming you. on and take care. All Thank right, you, bro. Cool. Let's, all right, so we just had a whole bunch of people join, so we'll see if we can get through everyone. So uh, you get to skip the line if you're willing to do both girls. So in private chat, message me. I'm down to do both, uh, and then we will uh, let you skip the line. But yeah, there's we got about five people backstage. So we'll try to go fairly quick. For anyone who is oh, six people now, for anyone who just joined uh, the chat, again, we have a new rule so that if you are a person who's all you do is talk shit and you contribute absolutely nothing of value, then you have to either go on a speed date or go on a panel or shut the fuck up. We call it the "don't be a little bitch" rule. So uh, you know, we got we got a few <laughs> little bitches, but we're trying to crack down on that. All right, cool. Let's bring on this person. So, hello, can't hear you. Yeah, what's good? Okay, there we go. Oh my uh, god, look at her eye roll. She's like, "Fuck, don't pick me and shit." Well, who are you? Who are you picking? Uh, I'm gonna go with Aspen, actually. Okay, I'm gonna take Thank me god. and Alex. Huh? <laughs> Yo, what's good? How you doing? Um, I'm good. How are you? Doing great. Just uh, going through final season. I'm doing this instead of studying. <laughs> so it is what are you what majoring is. in? I'm in business. What about you? I heard um, that you were also in college. Yeah. Oh, psychology. Your name? Should I write down these nuts while I'm at it? Just yeah, that. exactly. Okay, Damn, you, you really can read minds, can't you? Yeah, I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> it's a very college boy thing. How old are you? What's a college boy thing? Whoa, wait, wait. Let's. These uh, nuts. Um, how old are you? Uh, why do you want to know? I'm just curious on what age your mind is at compared to where you're at. What would you give me? Well, considering that you're, I'm guessing a senior. That's probably like, if you think about it, like 19 to 20, 21, 22, maybe 23. That's a pretty big range. I thought you could read minds. You seem pretty bad at it now. Um, I'm gonna guess about 24. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, you're dead on. Yeah. <laughs> no, not even joking. That's crazy. Anyways, aside from studying, reading minds and shit, what do you do for fun? Um, bully men. Bully men? So you're yeah. a fucking bully? Do you like yeah. flirt at the same time or are you just like, bam, um, fuck them up? No, I just fuck them up. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty evil. I thought psychologists were supposed to be nice and supposed to like help people get better, not bring them down. Like, what's up with that? Yeah, well, they are, but some people just need brought down a little bit. And what do you think I need? To be brought down, you need your confidence level dropped a little bit. Why isn't confidence like a good thing? It is, but right now it's coming off too much. Your ego, your ego is rocking. Uh, I can feel the testosterone coming through the screen. Coming strong, damn! Didn't you learn in your training or whatever to become a psychologist that you shouldn't like 
make judgments like quick judgments and shit like the fuck is that we barely know each learned, other and you're already doing that i also learned that if you don't want to be judged don't put yourself out there and what are you doing right now five minute dating that's pretty cool anyways uh let's say we were on a date for first time like what would you be down for is it food not drinks up. not hooking up so you're like a two date policy kind of girl or what i'm like you have to earn it you have to earn it okay i can think of a few ways i could do that mm. don't don't put, don't put your few ways don't underestimate me oh they're they're a secret we'd we'd have to go out oh. to find out okay well, wait where do you live ohio where do you live i'm in uh, i'm in canada canada okay you're gonna write the, that down too. the superior country obviously why do you think that i mean honestly they're very comparable but just the healthcare healthcare thing i feel like in the states you could work your whole life and if if you get a kid or you get injured like you basically get bankrupt like instantly it's pretty fucked up but uh, aside from that i mean both countries are fine i like to go to the states travel there it's, it's a really nice spot okay have you ever been outside the uh, oh i guess we're getting ambushed again yeah, we're, I want to keep it like three, four minutes because there's so many people backstage. Oh, um, all right, Aspen, would you go on a date with D's? Uh, no. Why not? He just like just gives me kind of like a douchebag vibe. Why? Why do you say that? I don't know. I think it's the mustache. What the fuck. No, what's what's like the real reason? Um, she's the most judgmental he's, psychologist. I've he ever came met. in too strong. I think. I actually think I actually have a different uh, little bit of explanation. So if you notice, uh, this is more for the chat, but also I guess to some extent for you, D. So if you know, like, actually, this was somewhat similar to the interaction with Greg. I think there's a lot of shit that she gave you. And I don't think you passed them really that well. I don't think you totally bombed them. But I don't think you like really, really uh, like flew past those shit tests. I mean, Malik is like the queen of fucking giving shit tests. It's like what she does. But which but ones in particular? Me. Like, do you have any ones to stand out? I have, I'll have to watch. It, I'll, have, up. I'll have to watch it back. But um, just what were some of the what are some of the tests that you just just run me through it again? Can chat can the chat remind me? What are some of the uh, what are some of the things that uh, she said that my ego is pretty big. That was one I think. Oh yeah, I'll be like, uh, the other it's one. It's not really I'm a not sure. shit test. I I think the biggest takeaway I had was. It became almost an ego competition and not in a flirtatious or playful way. It was just like, my dick's bigger. No, mine is. No, you actually have a small dick. No, you actually have a small dick. And that was just kind of like the vibe I got from the conversation um, where you were trying to fight her instead of like win her over. I think also at some point, like when the girl's being really bratty, you should like kind of call that out. So I would just straight up address and be like, hey, what's going on here? Like, you seem like you really don't like me. What did I like hurt you in a past life or something like that? And you really should just like address it and see, like call out the elephant in the room. Because otherwise, yeah, it did feel like kind of like a little bit like a bratty. I wonder, how much, yeah. I wonder how much of it was though. Someone in the chat pointed this out. And I thought it was actually an interesting observation. Was that because Malik initially said, thank God, that this was like a sister like Bonding yeah, time. bro. She fucked me up. Was, <laughs> where Aspen was maybe already subconsciously, uh, uh, like, yeah, I got not, set not, up, not predisposed to ease because of that. Not gonna lie, I was hoping that he would go for Malik. I, I... <laughs> no, he just honestly, his just facial expression when he came on was so fucking cocky. That's um, what I'm saying. And then like the D and then like the real, I rolled my eyes name. because I don't like him, and chat knows that. And then he he called that out so i responded to that thing wait why do you guys why do you not like him you guys know each other on your show you we you put us on together. she like I, she was I, about I to like, cry by the time it was I done yeah days. i i made him cry he's one of now, the like, readers I that i made of all your beefs okay you have like a million going on yeah sure. I also, like a pro when, I was, when i was like calling him out he like got offended by it Did yeah I really? exactly that, yeah <laughs> Well, that goes back to like the shit that's yeah. I'll have to go back and watch this back, uh, and uh, maybe I'll do a video on it or something like that. But uh, don't, do I'm good. I do want to point out that. <laughs> well, it's not really your choice. It's now, it's now or never, bro. Yeah, I, want no, to point I, out, to, I honestly don't. I have to go back and watch it back. Honestly, no worries, no worries, it's all good. But yeah, I, I do want to point out that a lot of guys do this, and D's did do this, and I think it's it just makes the conversation awkward. It derails from any flirtatious vibe you had before. When a girl asks, "How old are you?" And you respond, 
guess. And then the girl's like, well, I don't know. And then you push her to guess your age. It completely derails the entire vibe of the conversation. And it just makes the conversation overall awkward. And then, like, if she guesses it wrong, it's even more awkward. If she guesses it right, you're like, oh, look at you. And then, like, it does nothing positive for you anyway. So I don't understand the point guys do that. Yeah, that's no, it's actually point. annoying. I'm tired of the guessing game. Just like when I ask you where you live, like if I ask you a question in general, just answer it. Like it's not that difficult. Yep. Yeah, okay. especially if it's like just a question like age. Like I don't know why guys do that. Guess. Yeah, I'll concede that one. <laughs> guess uh, they're fucking insecure, small dick energy pussies. Oh, come on now. I think, I think people are trying different game tactics that they think might work for whatever reason. I think one that I will point out is um, that I've been seeing is like playing a little bit too coy. So when the girl's like, oh, we're going to do on our date. And you're like, oh, well, you'll have to find out. I feel like playing a little bit of coy is good, but I feel like being too coy. Uh, yeah, but is, I think being coy is, is not, like but really... not regarding something like age. Yeah. Or like you could say like I don't want to answer that like. Well, I th I think you can just overdo coyness on anything if you're just like too like you got to give the girl something. Uh, all right, cool. Points. Anyway, thanks for coming on, buddy. Yeah. See ya. Also, for those in chat asking, yes, this is a torture device. <laughs> is that where you torture all the men? Yeah, I make him do chin ups. Where'd right. you get that? I need to invest in one. Yeah, I'll send you the link. Yes. What the hell is going on? Um, yeah, I, I think porn's about to pop up. Worried on about dick pics. So, yeah, do I, I get compensation up. for a dick? Do you get compensation for a dick? Yeah, you yeah. get to. If, if if it's a bad dick, I will send you a good dick. So you're good. Oh, uh, great. <laughs> Zach said he'll do. No wait, PED said he'll do both. Okay, I don't know why people like do this shit where they just like Fuck come you, on. Bobby like, Johnson. Well, do weird shit. All right, what's up? You said you want to do both. What up? What up? Yep. Let's do it. All right. Cool. Let's see. Oh, you guys look so fucking friendly. I think Hi. you're joking. No, I'm not. I'm serious. So, off to a great start, huh? Can you cook? Huh? Can you cook? Why? Is it because I look Islamic? Is that why you ask? No, I just want to make sure you at least bring like bare minimum value to the table. Mm, uh, I can use a microwave. Does that count? Can you at least clean? Mm, nah, but I can pay a maid. Bi weekly. So you have basis. money, is what you're saying. That's all I can afford. Yeah. Bi weekly? Take you guys to Rosa Sky. Do you guys know about Rosa Sky? No. I don't mean to be that oh, person giving whatsoever. Me nothing here. What's going Are on? you on a laptop? Yeah, why? Can you like turn it 180 and you, your lighting is so shit, like the glare. If I in turn front it 180, camera... like my my head is blocked. No, but like light. turn your whole butt, just pick it up and like turn the whole thing 180. Like your I'm lighting is that. actually so shit. That's all I can focus on. That's uh that's unfortunate. Or like at least I'm not a professional streamer. You're gonna like, have I'm to. I'm sorry with from it. for derailing the date. It's just really no. I get it. Like bad. it's bad lighting, but I'm not a professional streamer, so you're gonna have to deal with this. Okay. Um, so what's something positive? So how's it going? You have nothing positive to say about me. I said, can you name something positive about yourself? Um, that's a really hard question. All right. Oh God. I think. Uh, I don't know. I'm not the bragging type, so maybe when I see you in person, maybe when when we go to Rose and Sky, they'll find out. Okay, maybe I am the bragging type, but I can at least name twenty positive things about myself. Um, it's surprising okay, you can't name one. <laughs> Top three right now. Top three. I'm confident. I'm strong. I'm dedicated. I'm trustworthy. I have very good communication skills. Sorry, did you only say three? I'll stop talking. Okay, let me let me do my top three then. I am educated, I'm confident, and I'm extremely humble. So you're average and a hypocrite. Average in what sense? Average in the sense that you have an education. I assume most people, unless they're below average, have an education. Is that true? I don't think most people... I mean, I'm educated from a top school. I'm not going to dox myself, but... I, mean, you know, I got that little... I got the nerdy thing going for me, but you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a work in progress, so got things to improve on. Okay. 
What, do you, so, what would you say your biggest flaws are? Oh, my biggest flaws? I'm a, I'm a bit of a psychopath when it comes to relationships. What's the craziest thing you've done like, to a woman? Craziest thing I've done to a woman? You said you're a psychopath when it comes um, to relationships. So. Yeah, in terms of... Uh, this might... Yeah, I might not be able to say this on air, but I've definitely, like, stalked an ex before. Have you ever cheated on somebody? Uh, I plead the fifth. So hey, you've God. cheated, you've stalked, years, you say you're confident ago. and humble, which doesn't even make sense. Um, right and now, How does that not make sense? You're like my past relationships. You're so up and down. I'm getting sick on this roller coaster. Like, you're going to make me throw up. Yeah, but you love you love the emotional highs and lows. Be honest. No, no. That's why you keep coming back. If I want emotional highs and lows, I'll go back to my ex, honey. Mm, okay. Well, I you mean, know, I honestly there's novelty and the, and the highs out. aren't even that high. I did too. They're average. I definitely He's like, too. you don't look like you're bad looking, but I can't tell because all I'm looking at is it's the bookshelf to lighting. your right because I don't want to look at your face because of the shitty lighting. Yeah, it's horrible. I, I mean, like, I don't know what you want to do. But like, you, if I move to the side, it's going to get No, you should worse. move to the other you side. See? Like, get the light out of the frame. Oh my it's, the thing is, there's no, a just, bookshelf just, just there. Don't, just don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's shit. Okay. We've accepted that. We've moved okay. on. Okay, right. so um, I will stop being an asshole so for, like, let's just say, a second. Um, thank you. I appreciate and it. And give you the You're opportunity to... usually nice to, to people, but you gave me that treatment i don't know i i am sorry but... i just i'm just in a fiery mood right now okay but i will give you the okay. opportunity to to invite both you of us onto you... a date like where would you take both yes of us? yeah so i take both of you guys to rosa sky we're gonna fly i'm gonna fly you guys out to miami you know i'm going there next week my buddy just closed on a house so we're, we'll go to rosa sky 8 9 p.m we'll get some martinis we'll look at you know the nice buildings of Brickle, take some nice photos for your Instagram. Um, you know, we'll just have a good time. We'll shoot the shit. Hopefully you won't be as uh you won't be trying to kill me as hard as you are now, but I think we'll have a good time. But you, I mean you're the psycho. Why would I kill you? Mm, I mean we'll, we'll we have to get to the relationship part first. I'm pretty All nice right. until that then. was uh very entertaining. Um let's start off with you, Aspen. Would you go on a date with P E D? No. Okay, Malik. I'm gonna say yes because he's a fun person to play. Uh, Don't you guys know each other? I, I mean, I've speed dated her before. Have you? I can't. I literally can't see your face, and I'm not trying to be an asshole. Like you're literally just like an orange blob with hair. So would it I be mean, a, my, uh, my Malik, skin color would, is pretty would, close to orange? Would, Malik, would it be a romantic or platonic? Yeah. Uh, um. Date? I don't know. I would say platonic, but it could turn into romantic. Like, honestly, like, I was giving him so much fucking shit, and he was honestly taking it, like, in a very entertaining way for, like, me as well. Like, I, he wasn't, like, trying to be an asshole back. He was just kind of, like, accepting it while also, like, not agreeing with it. Malik is, like, deep down side, just a massive bully, and she just, like, she's, like, she's just looking for her targets. Yeah, but I was watching her yesterday, and she was super nice to everyone. All can you sudden, imagine, can you imagine he's, like, Malik all the was, was like, Can you imagine Malik it. in kindergarten? Like, there's, like, oh, no, Megal, are you talking about? Just fucking takes kids, like, toys and shit and, like, runs away. Uh, no, no, Ped, Ped genuinely That's seems a... like a nice guy. Like, I deadass would go on a date, yeah. No, he, I agree. I think he seems like a nice guy, too. All right, Aspen, what do you think he could have done better? Um, I yeah, I don't know. It just the vibe that i got from you like you kept saying the same thing over and over again but never once elaborated it was just wasn't like when she when malik asked you like what your positives were like you should have listed them and like like instead of being like well i don't know like at least try at least act like you know I what did. you're talking about uh, you did after I, did. I listed mine making yourself like the follower not the leader and in any dynamic with a man and a woman the man always needs to maintain the frame of the leader not the follower yeah, I, I, exactly. that was one of the things I wrote down, but I also would never admit to that you've stalked girls before. I would definitely never, ever say that. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that. You could like, make a joke out of that. Like, what's what's the, what was the question? What was the most 
He said he's a psycho in past relations. So I said, like, what? In what ways? Like, what have you done? Oh, I made her come too many times. She couldn't walk for three days afterwards. I don't know. There you go. Something like that. Yeah, lie about it at least. Yeah, at the very least, lie. Yeah, like I don't know if I would. I don't, I don't know if I would agree to even being a psycho in the first place. And when I asked if you're a cheater, don't say I plead the fifth. Like, that is so obvious. Lie. Like, lie. And I, I normally would say that, like, be honest. But, like, you're immediately – the second you – I, I listed it, honesty I mean, or, or you can phrase it in a different so way. Lie. Like, when people or, ask me that question, I'll be like, yes, when I was younger in my first relationship, I did cheat. Uh, you know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't something I should have done. Uh, you know, kind of grew better. And now I know better. I don't know. You could always like reframe it. But. Yeah. you Or you can like, if the answer is yes to that, I would just recommend like guys to be honest, but express remorse when being honest about it. Like, uh, I'm not going to lie. I made some mistakes in my past, but you know, I've matured and grown since then. Or just don't say like, yes, or I plead the fifth. Yeah, I agree with that. But I think also, just again, this seems like this is the for the past two speed dates, it just becomes this like very confrontational type of vibe, which I think needs to be like alleviated in one way with or another. With me? Uh, no, you weren't. Well, yes and no. Are you talking you about Malik or me? No, I, I, I will be honest, Alex. Like <laughs> I, I started being not- an asshole, and Aspen was like my little sister. Like let's let's beat up big bro type shit and that was like the whole vibe throughout the date so i yeah because I, I watched I no I, i'm not i'm not saying i'm not saying it's his fault i'm just saying that was the vibe of the date it doesn't matter yeah. who, who caused it it just matters that was the vibe so there needs to be some way to like alleviate that i mean you were pretty chill uh you laughed it off i don't know i think like i personally like just like to address and call that shit out and like kind of like a non-too confrontational way Wait, like, hey, i did cool. i literally did that alex what did, uh what I was did like, you what's going on I was like, guys, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> what's? Why are you guys giving me so much shit? Like, thirty seconds See, in, you got to give the shit back. Like, you got to take it and like laugh about it. Yeah, you got to give it back. You, you can definitely. Wait, Alex, it. is my lighting that bad? <laughs> um, yeah. Like, am I? It's not good. I, I get it's bad, but like, you can at least make out my face and stuff. It's uh, nice. It's bad time mm-hmm. of day. Very grainy. I didn't yeah. recognize you. I'll say that, like. I did, but yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Anyway, we got to get the next okay. person on. Thank you for coming on, PD. All right, guys. Have a good night. All right, Zach, you're next. Then we'll bring you on, Mr. X. All right, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Pretty good. Oh, another thing I was going to tell him is like the, the Rosa Sky jokes. Like, they, they, both the girls are not familiar with that joke. Like, I, it would be funny if you're like talking to me or someone else from the chat, but you can't use like insider jokes with the people who weren't there for the jokes. So that just went right. Yeah. Like they don't understand where that jo- the, the significance of that joke. So none of that is funny to them. So that's, that's also another thing I forgot to say. It's like, you have to like, like if something is like a funny inside joke, you can't use it with people who have no idea what the joke is about. Uh, okay. Zach, you said you want to do both. You ready? Yes. Do it. Bye. What's up y'all. Hello. Hey. So Aspen, you're from Ohio, right? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Tennessee, actually, but I was going to ask, like, I started getting all these ads for move to Ohio. I'm like, it's such a tourist destination. I got to know what's up with that. Like, what's going on up there? Um, It's lying to you because there's nothing but cornfields and deer. So don't look into <laughs> it. Just cornfields and deer? Yep. At least Tennessee has Nashville, though. I mean, we like, have Columbus if you want to, like, get shot up. Get shot up? I hear, yeah. I hear Dayton's better for that, though. Uh, Dayton's better for like if you want to sex traffic girls. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I've been like one time on business, but it was fun. Sex fine. trafficking business. Exactly. You like you like stole the words from my mind. Exactly. Yeah, about- I read mine. <laughs> exactly. So, where are you from, Malik? Malik. I'm from Georgia. Georgia. Okay, so I'm like right smack dead in the middle between you guys. Where so- are you from? West Virginia. No, I'm from Tennessee. I just said. Oh, my bad. It's, it's all right. It's all right. How you guys like this so far? This has been like, I'm here because like Alex's jokes are just so on point. Like they just, they really make the night for me. Like you guys get anything out of this? Um, yeah, I usually get a couple of haters. Um, you know, I, I just really like just get hard off of like people hating me so every time alex like spams my dms like i need you um 8 p.m 9 p.m i'm like okay sure i'll get more haters get that get that call from alex you know what's up Mm -hmm. so what do you do like job wise oh i'm a full-time twitch streamer twitch streamer like video games yeah i i 
I do Twitch streaming. I don't play video games. I usually just host shows. I also mm -hmm. do um, just advice, like one-on-one -on -one, uh, advice. Like um, all people will call me and ask for advice on like pretty much anything. Um, and I charge per hour and I'm doing real estate, but I, I haven't started that yet. I'm still taking classes. For doing that. real estate. That's super interesting. I'm actually in real estate development right now. Tennessee is a great market. I don't mean that like in a braggadocious way at all, but like, yeah, like it's just people. small right now, but um, I'm really a big believer in that. So um, yeah, Twitch is great. Cause like you can work from home, set your own schedule. Like it's fucking amazing. So what is there to do in Georgia? Um, I live in the mountains of Georgia, so uh, a really, really small town. I literally live in a shed. Um, so great. I don't leave my house. You don't leave your house? That's no, amazing. except for Is the rare like... occasion when like I decide that maybe I should eat after the third day of no food. Um, and then I'll like buy a lemon or a banana and eat it. Hmm. Yeah, I hear that. Like, so you like buy a mountain stream and shit? Like you got that creek and that mountain view and buy your shed? Um... Yeah, maybe. But uh, I I'm just going to call this out mid-date. Maybe this is rude as fuck. But I thought this was like a three-way date. Um, and you have not once engaged both of us at the same time. So I'm going to like give you a little opportunity before Alex comes on and like cuts it off. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, not going to lie. I'm bored over here. But, my bad, Aspen. I'm like, I'm like a little bit autistic with that. Like engaging a group, that's just like way over my head. You know, that's, yeah. uh, that's like dating 301. Who, who can engage a group even? You know, but not you, not me. No, exactly. Is my voice too low? Are you on the mic? Is that what it is? I don't know, Zach, but I think uh, Aspen's voice is really hot. Do you agree with that? Hot as fuck, honestly. Like, Malik, are you flirting with me? <laughs> no, I was. I was just talking to Zach. You know. Yeah, I mean, really, you should have to pay for that. Like, you do Twitch too, Aspen? No, maybe I should start doing like online sex calls though. Honestly, we should all three. I mean, that would that would be great. Alex could teach us all. You know? She could. We could just jump on her live stream and do it with her because I don't want to have to start all that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Just do it on Twitch. They don't fucking care anyway. Like, this is free for all. You know, titties out, anything. No, I mean, yeah. I'm yeah, not no. going to flash my titties. No. That, you that, if you want to see tits, you can go to Omegle or like Pornhub, you know? Fair enough, fair enough, yeah. If you wanted to, Zach, you could flash yours, though. On cam? I'm yeah. afraid I'd get kicked off. Like, no, it's just a shirt. $30,000 lawsuit? It's just a shirt. Kind oh, well, I mean, I'm giving you consent. Like, it's not, like, unsolicited. Yeah. Hmm. What about chat? They might, like, all the black pillars, they might be- Honestly, chat, like, like you can close your eyes. I, you seem a little insecure. Like, maybe you don't go to the gym and work out. I want a man with bigger arms. I don't, I don't work out? I don't know if you do. Like, yeah, you gotta I'm, some guns. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like flash my body out here. You know. All you right. Things are starting to get interesting. Okay, so Aspen, would you go on a date with Zach? E yes. Yes. Romantic or platonic? Mm, platonic, and see where it goes. Okay, now. No, I would not. I thought I was the only one like engaging all three of us in the call when like that should have been his responsibility. I do think, however, I will say, I think he would have done well, um, maybe in a one-on-one -on -one with Aspen. I don't think me and him have any similarities. Um, and again, I want to call out to all the fucking guys who say both. If you're going to say both, you have to talk to both girls and keep both girls engaged. You can't like go for 40 seconds talking to one girl, then 40 seconds about a completely different topic and just go back and forth. It just bores both girls. Okay, a few things from me. First, so first of all, let's clear this up. I do not spam you, Malik. I send you like one DM a week. So let's, yeah, let's, it's let's, like one DM a week. I... Let's, let's get that out of the way. <laughs> all right. Second of all, to the actual to the actual feedback. Um, so when Malik was like, um, you have to engage both girls. You don't want to apologize, right? You didn't really do anything wrong. So uh, I would handle it totally differently. So when she said that, I'd be like, all right, let me fix my uh, mistake. And then you're just like, you can just make a joke out of it. And then you just go back and get you like, oh, anyway, shall we play a little game? Aspen, are you into girls at all? I don't know. You can just like make it fun like that. But mm -hmm. yeah, I would, uh, but I would not apologize basically or start qualifying yourself. You don't want to be ever seen like you're qualifying yourself or trying to rationalize yourself or anything like that. Um, but yeah, cool, man. Uh, 
yeah thanks for coming on buddy thanks yeah for let's sure we'll see you next time all right let's do maybe like two more people uh okay mr x yo can, so, can you hear me we can hear you all right i'm ready oh um i'll take aspen that's okay um thanks hey how you doing good how are you i'm doing pretty good i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty nervous so just kind of bear with me how's your day what? going oh um, it's good what's your setup right now my what like your setup my setup yeah like your camera and stuff no i just have a regular camera I don't, okay. i'm not sure what you mean yeah but i have like a webcam and stuff yeah I mean, kind of oh. like those tricks and stuff, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say it's moving really weird. Yeah, I actually learned that from Malik, so oh. I'll give her credit, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit, in spite of my good looks, I'm actually kind of a nerd. I'm not going to lie, yeah. <laughs> How's your day going? Um, It's good. How's your day going? Uh, Pretty good. I wasn't even going to jump on, um, but Alex was like, uh, you know, because I was talking some shit earlier on the, on the chat. Mm. So I was like, I can't let that, you know, I can't let Alex talk shit to me. Yeah. Can I ask what shit you were talking? I was just, I said it's over for the curry cell earlier. Yeah. Um, and then Indian P got mad at me. Do you know what? Um, yeah, I'm not going to ask you. It's kind of offensive. But yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, but, anyways, so let's move on from that. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was pretty good. Yeah, I wasn't going to jump on. I was fucking like unclogging my fucking bathtub right now. Uh, yeah, I fucking shaved my pubes and so it all, I got clog that up. And so I had to use my big snake to fucking get in there and like go in deep and like clog that shit out. Uh, so, you know, I think I finally reached the spot it took me a little while, but yeah. Yeah. You, like, was... you got to find the right spot, but it, it took you, it's fine. You got there eventually. Eventually with practice and, you know, it took me a couple hours. You just had to get the light, the right length, you know, the right yeah. size. Yeah. But what about you? What did you do today? Um, I went to school. I went to tanning. I went to the gym. I went and got my nails done today. Oh, can I see? Oh, pretty. Oh, nice. They're like flames, huh? Yeah, the middle one. <laughs> I like that. Look at that. Yeah. I like your skin color, though. You tan? Let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah, I tan. Yeah. I think we'll look pretty good together. You know, mm, I think we're pretty look a close. Little pale. Really? Mm, no. Maybe it's just the bad lighting. Yeah, I think so. No, I'm pretty dark actually. Yeah, but no, what's I'm your, like. What's hmm. your ethnicity? Um, so I'm from um, I'm Hispanic. So a little bit about me. I'm six foot one. I'm Hispanic. Uh, I live in LA, and uh, yeah, that's. I have two dogs. What kind so of dog? Look, right here, you see them. So yeah. I have a husky and a beagle. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, what about you? Oh, you have two labs, I heard, right? Yeah, so six foot one, is that like with the three inches added on or like actually? Like the what three inches? Size? Wait, what are you asking me about? Like, I'll give you other measurements if you want. No, no. <laughs> it ain't like no three inches. No, like <laughs> it's always like guys lie about their height. So you always deduct three inches? No, you add uh, you add five inches. No, no. no <laughs> I'm talking about your height. So if you're, if you're saying you're six one, <laughs> you're more likely like five five eleven. No, you can you can measure me on a romantic date. Like that's fine. You know. What would the romantic date be? Uh, well, picture this. Let's see. How about we? I'm just gonna guess a lot of things. So, so if you don't like something, just let me know. But how about we go like eat some tacos? I'm Hispanic. I love tacos. Okay. Um, we go, and if there's vibe, and you know, um, we like each other, we can go dancing. I love dancing. Like, what kind of dancing? Salsa dancing. Yeah, I love salsa dancing. Salsa, bachata. EDM. Uh, we can go to a, watch a like some live rock and stuff. It'd be dope. And uh, you know, we can we can finish it off here. You can come meet the dogs, and uh, you can see that I'm not a creep, and uh, you can see my house and stuff like that. So I don't know. That's kind of what do you think? I don't know. You tell me. What's your um, ideal date? Like probably after the tacos, I'd call it a day. Really? Why you don't well, like that? What would you do? Like that's that seems kind of short to me. I don't know. I mean, like just like. Number one, hang out in public is a big thing. And I would not go back to your house after. Hmm. Would you drive? Can you drive? Can you drive? No, I would Uber just so that I could, I could like have a couple of drinks, you know. But like, can you drive normally? Yeah. Like, yeah. Have a I license. Have a 
Yeah, I'm, I have a green card. I have a passport. Don't worry. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm not in it because uh, for the green card, for the green papers. Oh, okay. That's, that's good to know. Would you mm-hmm. drive or would you make me drive? No, I would Uber you. Get it over me. Yeah, I would Uber you. Yeah. I think okay. that's kind of lame. Yeah, like for the girl to drive. But you'd Uber honestly. me? You wouldn't drive yourself? Mm, no, I don't know. Not in LA. LA, there's a lot of traffic. So it's kind of a big hassle to go there, go somewhere, you know. All right. Let's bring Malik back. All right. So, Aspen, would you go on a date with Mr. X? Um, no. W- what do you think he could have done better? Just like the conversation seemed very, like, blah. Like, there was no, it was not ever interesting. I felt like I was pretty bored throughout the whole thing. Yeah, here's two things that I wrote down. One, I, I wouldn't say that you just finished shaving your pubes. Uh, <laughs> or, uh, you have, like, a nervous habit where you, like, keep touching your hair. So I'll just be aware of that. Like, you were literally just, like, doing this. I actually tend to do that sometimes, too, but I try to be very aware of it. So, like, uh, you were just literally just, like, fondling your hair. Like, oh, I have so much hair. Look at this. Uh, Damn, so, did yeah. he make you jealous, Alex? <laughs> I keep telling him to do some minoxidil and microneedling. He doesn't listen to me. No, dummy. I do both of those things. I do microneedling <laughs> and minoxidil. I literally just microneedled yesterday and put minoxidil on like an hour ago. Uh, but yeah, cool. All right, Malik, any feedback for him? Um, I think you should have tried to find something you could have connected her on, other than like the skin tone. That was the only thing that I remember you trying to relate to her on, and mm. it just wasn't it. Um, okay. All right. No, that's super helpful. I'm going to use also, that. Also, I think the, the camera tracking uh, is uh, kind of annoying. I don't think yeah. I, I'll, I'll turn that off. I like, I, I usually do that when I act like a psychopath on my stream. I have the facial tracking on, but not if I'm just like... It wasn't horrible, but yeah, I agree with Alex on it. All cool. right. All right, buddy. Cool. Thanks, guys. Peace. Take care. Mr. X actually bet uh, bet me that I wasn't the height that I say I am, which is, uh, I guess, 10, found out I'm 5'10 and a half, and uh, he put up $200 or $300. So uh, I won the bet, and he had to donate that money to charity. We donated to a charity with, that combines puppies and veterans. So it's basically like they train puppies to give to veterans who have PTSD. Good cause. So. Aw, that's so cute. All right, let's uh, bring on uh, Seppelin. <laughs> What's up? You said you want to do both. Yeah, what's up? This yeah, yeah, both, yeah. This is going to be the last one for the night. Last night? Oh, damn. I got lucky. All right, let's go. All right, let's see what happens, man. All right, man. All right, girls. Uh, tell me about yourself. Ask me first. Okay, well, um, I'm a college student full-time. I study psychology. I read, go to the gym, tan, party, darty. Um, shop, party. All, all the girls. How old are you? 18. You're 18. What's your ethnicity? Mine? Yeah. White. White. So you're just American? Yep. Well, I mean, I have like German shit in me, but not really. German? German, uh, Irish, and Native American. Okay, what's your type on a guy? Tall, dark, and handsome. Tall, dark, and handsome. Like and Middle spicy. Eastern? And spicy. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, what do you like about? How about you ask Malik a question? Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm not. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Back and forth. Right, you know what? You know what? I'll. I'll go to Malik. Okay. Um. Back so, yo. Forth. What's up, Malik? Yo. Um, not much. How are you? You good? I'm good. You? Uh. Yeah. I'm good. Um, so like, uh, tell me, tell me more about yourself. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a, I'm a full-time streamer. Um, I like bullying men online. Uh, I'm 23 and I'm Middle Eastern and Armenian. You're Middle Eastern? That's crazy. I'm Middle Eastern as well. You know, I'm Turkish. Um, I see the how old are you? I'm 23. 23 years old. That's, I'm 24 years old. That's, I think that's. That's good. That's a good number. Um, yeah. So, so where would you um, take the two of us on a date? Uh, probably to Dubai. Uh, I'm rich, you know. I can buy you guys um anything. I like you know, that. Get some get some drinks together, you know. 
get to know each other. What's your drink of choice? Drink of choice. Anything that you like. You go to the bar, I got you. No, what's your drink of choice? My drink? Anything. You don't have a favorite? No. I like I like every drink. Okay. Uh, um Yeah, um yeah, that's 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 crazy. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> At what point yeah, did yeah, you that's crazy. To grow a mustache. What'd you say? At what point did you decide to grow a mustache? Grow a mustache? Yeah. How about you? How about you grow a mustache, huh? I could probably grow one better than you. <laughs> no, you can't. Yeah. No, you fucking can't, bro. Who the fuck you think you are, bro? Okay, mustache is a favorite <laughs> topic. Shut up, you teenager. Shut up. Oh God shit. damn. The teenager's talking to me, bro. Come on, man. Oh, I mean, I heard his ego. Yo, um, yeah, that's it. That's it, man. Really, uh, yo, uh, where's Alex, bro? Where's Alex? <laughs> what? I'm, bro, I'm Alex. Just, Alex. I just want to, I just want to take a piss for like thirty seconds, and I come back to this. All right, so let's anyway, let's kick it off to Aspen. Aspen, would you go on a date with uh Sepa Larom? Um, what the sir? What? <laughs> No, 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 oh. bro. It's Sepalone, bro. Sepalone, okay, Sepalone. <laughs> um, at first, I would have said yes, but then, like, I made a joke about his mustache, and he got so butthurt about it. Complete turn off. Mm, okay. Complete turn off. Could be good. Could be good for the clips channel. All right, Malik, what about you? Um, I have an eyelash uh, I just want to call it out so people don't think other things. Um, I, I think I would. Um, I don't know. He made me laugh. I, and I, I wish he would have spoke more instead of cutting it off because I feel like, um, I don't know, I think he should have just been a little more confident and, like, asked us more questions. Would it be uh, romantic or platonic? I'd say platonic at first, but, I mean, he did say Dubai, so I don't know how that's platonic. <laughs> okay. Yo, Alex, I can, I can get you to Turkey as well. We can get a hair to you know. I'm good. I can afford her hair transplant in America. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know where this idea comes from that I can't afford like hair transplants in America. All right, Aspen, what do you think he could have done uh, better? Um, maybe like, yeah, more confidence overall. Just more confidence. Well, you yeah. said you said you liked him in the beginning, and then you didn't like when he got butt hurt about something, right? Yeah, like I'm gonna make fun of guys. Like I'm gonna pick on you. Like you need to take. Oh, who gives a fuck, bro? Like who the fuck are you, bro? Like, bro. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Like that? Like, that is terrible. Show, Holy we're shit, getting, dude. We're getting, we're getting feedback. You're, the whole point of the show is to get feedback. Not to argue with the feedback. It's not like a debate. It's just, bro, uh, she's trying to fight me, bro. I'm not going to lie. She's, she's trying to fight me, bro. All right, she pissed me off. Like, I can't tell if he's joking or being serious right now. I can't, well, I can't she's tell. She's pissing me off. She's pissing me off, you know. That's crazy. Are you going to cry about it? God. All right, anyway. Go go, oh, God. Okay. Shut up, bro. Okay. Shut up. Okay, I'm, I'm going to mute you. Because you're getting kind of annoying. All right, there we go. All right, anyway, so uh, so was that it in terms of feedback? Yeah. All right, cool. Anyway, uh, I kind of missed half of that because I was taking a piss, but I'm sure. <laughs> oh, my was, God, I was muted. If this was as good as you guys think it is, then I will uh, definitely put it on the Twitch channel, maybe do a reaction to it. Now, what were you going to say before you were mu muted? Yeah, what? so I, was just, I just want to point out the fact that I interpreted the mustache thing differently than Aspen. I felt like he was just – almost trolling, like, pretending to be upset about it. I don't think he was, like, actually upset about it. I just think that's his way of joking back. That's just how I interpreted that. Okay. All right. Closing thoughts, Sepharo? You're unmuted. Uh, yeah. Uh, pretty valid. Um, but, you know, I like both of the girls. Um, well, actually, maybe. I don't know. It was good. It was, it was good. It was a good conversation for the first time. Um, yeah, I'll uh, definitely, you know, if she wants to, if they want to, um, we can have a, you know, second row, you know, or I don't know. All right, cool. Uh, that was yeah. definitely a different yeah. closing thoughts than I expected, but yeah, man. Yep, yep, yep. Up. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> They're like, you never know what you're going to, you never know what you're going to get with this dude. I was I, not I, expecting that at all. I thought he was going to come on here and like cuss me out. Yeah, I know. Uh, I like, that you too. should like fund for like. 
me to fly out to Dubai and like I'll, I'll record it for you and you can post it on your channel. Wait, I mean, up with him. I honestly don't know if he could afford it or not, but like I feel like you could, Alex. So you could just like pay for my flight and then it'll be content for your channel. I don't. I don't even like pay for girls I'm fucking. Like, why would I pay for? Girls? <laughs> I'm not fucking. This seems so counterintuitive from my perspective. Uh, but yeah, I do think he was probably trolling. All right, guys, we're gonna do an open panel for like. 15 minutes i'm gonna keep it a little bit longer so 10 20 we'll do 10 30 but uh yeah anyway let's uh give the girls a chance to plug their shit so aspen uh where can people find you you can find me on instagram that's like my biggest one it's 13 dot aspen and then you can find me on tiktok that's also where i talk shit about men that's aspen hatfield 13 um and then honestly if you go there my link tree is linked and you find everything else don't add me on snapchat though i'm not gonna add you back why is it thirteen dollar Aspen? Thirteen dot Aspen? Oh, it's thirteen dot. I thought you said thirteen dollar Aspen. I was no, that's the be price honest, per month. <laughs> to be 13. honest, I made it in like middle school, and I just never changed it. Uh -huh. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Uh, yeah, thirteen dot Aspen makes a lot more sense than thirteen dollar Aspen. Yeah. All right, uh, Malik, where can people find you? Malik underscore zero four on all platforms. I stream every single night on Twitch, except for when I fall asleep because I have narcolepsy. I will be live later tonight, probably around 11 p.m. Uh, so see me there if you want to or fuck off either way. All right. Uh, all right, guys. So we're going to do a quick post show again, 10, 15 minutes. I do got to make it to Whole Foods before they close. So here's the link. If you want to discuss anything, hop on anything and everything. Or you can discuss it with the girls or you can just watch Rhaegar. Watch me play with Rhaegar. We got a group today, so he's extra fluffy. Uh, okay. Look at this. Looks for it. Yo, so if I got this correctly, you said if I hop on a speed day, I'm getting some cash or what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's his name? Den. Uh, I I offered to put up thirty, and uh, DK said he's willing to put up uh fifty. Uh, with which chick? I want to see you do both. Aspen would love me. I already know. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see if you can uh, bring your game for Malik too. I want to see you do both girls. Well, my... game is not relevant here. Come on. <laughs> she described what she likes. She likes tall, right. white, colored eye men. It's, it's very simple. Okay. All anyway. dark. Dark. Yeah, I have dark hair. So, dark so hair. My, my precondition is both girls. And then By the way, Malik, when people say tall, dark, and handsome, they're referring to the hair color, not the skin tone. Just so you know. Yeah. Yeah. I also like them doing tan. I don't want a pasty. Yeah, 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 tan white. Yeah. So are you gonna are you gonna do a looks or are you just? Uh, oh shit! Looks about a speed date. Well, I'm getting some cash. Not right now though, because I have to. Dip. But on the next time when they, when uh, one of them come back, I'll do it. Do you have like a good personality at least, or is only your looks carry? De debatable. Debatable. Great personality. He's a good dad with a good personality. <laughs> I mean, funny can carry a conversation. Ed, just shut off your light. Just shut it off and turn on your phone flashlight and put it in front of your screen. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. work. Can you hear me? It's really... <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not going to work. It's really actually... It? Yeah, it's really bad. For me? Yeah, yeah, for you. Okay. Just shut, shut off the light. light. I literally have all my lights off. Oh, but the, audio, the audio is the issue on his end. By the way, I, I might have a big spotlight right here in front of me, not even going to lie. I might have kind of biased it without trying to, <laughs> unfortunately. Well, you're not you're not gonna be going with them. I mean, well, maybe with Malik, but like put on like one of those like uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be whoever the girls on next time. Oh, Do weird, we... yeah, it's fine. But I actually yeah. kind of want to see you go with Malik, so I'll, I'll get. Well, Malik. no, it like changes the dynamic. Yeah, yeah, I kind of shot myself in the foot there for no reason. Why you just said <laughs> you're a good looking guy? Yeah, but that like you don't understand. Shut what the that fuck up, bro! You sound like such a beta right now. Like, stop like. Petty that. simping. Like, you're literally like being like, oh, I fucked myself over and I'm not going to have a good chance. I thought you were well, supposed to be confident. Well, I'm doing it for the money. You're just like a five out of ten who's entitled, who gets like shit on Ben. So I don't Wait, know who you are to talk. You're literally <laughs> getting paid to fucking date me, bro. Right, right, right. Wait, I'm so sorry. Why are you I'm talking? Sorry. I can just not show up. And I can just ask Alex though. for the money instead. Well, if yeah, I can interject, I have been on your channel like at least ten times, right? And you're paying someone to date me instead of paying me? Yeah, you don't understand who I am. I'm actually kind of offended. Wait, pause. Can we just go over the fact that you're talking so much shit and your profile picture looks like that? 
Dude, that's that's all. We, 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 we got to so so You can't be the guy who offered you a face. You're so Chico hot look. and attractive. Then why aren't you showing your face right now? Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's kind of the. And I, I actually I, have a show on my face. Yeah, my cash offers for tonight, not next time. Yeah, unfortunately. He can't look at you like this. He's like, he can only look at you like this because he has to. No, that was just going to throw down some cash. He's got to turn his head. Yes, I'm only putting down 30 bucks. It was the other dude, DK, who's putting down 50. Oh shit! Gotcha. Eighty bucks on money. Yeah, that's fine, bro. I'll take some cash. They can More shoot the shit. Poker money. Yeah. No, no, but he's saying it's only for tonight. He's saying his offer is only for tonight. Mine yeah, is not. Go go on, bro. Show us how it's done. No, I told you I can't right now. I'm not home. We want to see the black pill collect. No collect. All right. Well, so are you I guess it's only going to be. It's only going to be thirty bucks then. I guess because he's saying his offer is only for tonight. Damn. Bro, look, just do it. You need it for your bankroll. Wait, so me and Malik don't get compensation for dealing with all these guys? <sighs> Unfortunately, no. Alex, I'm Alex. I'm a hardcore. Slave, actually, I'm a, I'm, a like, hardcore, I'm a hardcore sexist. He, he demands yeah, me to work for him for free, like on an almost weekly basis. Kind of <laughs> weekly fucked, basis, Alex. and you also have to do my taxes. So you have to get on that tax day. Yeah. Is expired. Yeah. Sure. Damn. Damn. Um. Uh, I see a couple yeah. people in the private chat asking to join the panel. I don't know how Mr. many people you intend to have on. <laughs> yeah, anyone can come on. The link is here. here I'll drop I see, the link. No, I mean in the private chat, like people who are already back. Mr. X is backstage. I, I see oh. Mr. X and Cephalon. Okay, Mr. X. I'm going to add him on. Uh, Cephalon. Okay, so alone, but don't go too crazy on me. I'll bring you go on. Go crazy. Okay. Uh, don't go too crazy. Okay. Let's go, Lux. We want to see the champ. Champ, champ, yeah, champ. Yeah. In time. Let's go. You won't. Worry. Worry. You won't. <laughs> so, boys? I bet Alex doesn't. I, I make, like, yeah, close to no money on this. Hey, Malik, I love you, by the way. Just wanted to say. I love you, too. Love you, man. I'll, I'll, I'll throw in 50 bucks if you go in there. Come on. 50 I'll throw one Bitcoin. <laughs> I have a, I have a question for Aspen. One Bitcoin is a lot of money. That's like money. $20,000. Okay, so I, I wasn't here for the first like hour of dates, but who was your favorite guy personality wise? And then who was the best looking guy? Honestly, none of them. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> oh my gosh. No, like it's obviously me for both titles. That's not really fair. Honestly, yeah, the I best was... personality was, oh my gosh, I can't remember his name. It started with an Owen? S. Bergoli. Yeah, Spicoli. Yeah, Spicoli was on. He had a, Damn, he had a I missed that. Yeah. Damn, Spicoli is cheating on me. That's crazy. <laughs> and then Zane, if he actually is six five and like actually like looks like how he said he did, I bet. I don't think so. Did he actually add you yet? I don't know. I'm using my phone to do this. Uh, six five. Wait, you want I a guy for six? I really doubt it. I don't. I don't think he did. But we'll see. Seven, Let me know. Eight. Message me if he does. Seven, I'm kind of I will. Yo. Yo, I have a question to ask him. Like, you want like tall guys, but you're like five two. Like, how how is that gonna work out? I'm five seven. You're five ten. Five seven. Dude, Brutal. the girls want good jeans. Leave them alone. They you just wouldn't understand. Yeah, you just, um, just got fun fact, I was taller than my last boyfriend, so. Brutal. Yeah, Brutal. Your ex. Hey, your ex for a reason. <laughs> he was under five seven. Damn. That's what yeah, I could five seven is like my minimum. Thickening. I would rope. Honestly, five ten is my minimum now. Brutal. Don't worry, it'll go on every year. Soon we'll be at like six two, six three. You know. That's nothing. You gotta be seven five now. Greg, yeah. you look short. I am short. He is pretty short. His height starts tall. with a five. So. Yeah. Whose height starts with a my six? My dick starts with an eight, though. Mine's that uh, dick, dick twins. Uh, Greg or dick, dick twins. Pill, dick pill. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. She wouldn't be able to handle it anyways. Yeah. Gentlemen, gentlemen, size of the dick doesn't matter. It's how you use it. Okay. That's a cope. Yeah. That's a cope. That's a cope. I think, I think that's the case. Like with, okay. My Mr. Ideal, Mr. Is dedicated his whole life mission to making his dick bigger. You can't do him like that. No, I yeah. either want in my life a three inch or an eight inch, no in between. <laughs> like it has to be like, it has to be impressive. And I feel like uh, being as small as a three is kind of impressive. And then being like an eight or up is like impressive. Oh my god! Where does like, that? If you're, in, if you're in between clip. that range, is just no. Yeah, if it's like this big, dude, like no. No, dude, I could fit the whole thing in my mouth, no issue. No, I'm just under, like I just no, no more job pain in my life. Where does you it know? go? Hey, good to know, man. Um, well, I think <laughs> the female body has ten holes, 
So we could figure out which one. Will... You don't have what to is, part what is that question? Question? Yeah. Where does it go? Like, what is that question? Are you trans? Are you trans, bro? What is that question? What the so, fuck, man? Whatever the fuck your name is. Shut up. Nobody was talking to you. Be careful with the oh. trans, bro. Hey, what, what, what exactly are the 10 holes? There's the mouth. There's the ass. There's the pussy. There's, I guess you can say. Holy shit, dude. Ears. Is there ears? There's it's a not nose. Not hard to count, Alex. The nose. Are you gonna? Are you counting the belly button too? <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, what? There's, some free what shit. there's like three or four missing. So what are yeah, they? There's the, the belly asshole. Button yes. The pee hole. Yes. The vagina. Both nostrils. Huh? Both ears. Jesus. The mouth oh. and both eyes. Oh, the eyes. You're counting the eyes. Yeah, those are holes. Oh god. Oh. Like That'd tears be... come out. Like. I feel like it'd be pretty, pretty you painful. You're gonna get dick in the eye. There's so much to show. Damn. I feel like with enough force, you actually could ask. I don't think you would survive that. An eight inch. I dick think you could survival. do it, but like, would you? You get skull to? fucked alive. That's not a good idea. All right, guys, guys, guys. How big is your dick then? Okay, you guys are about talking about dicks. How big is your fucking dick then, huh? Okay, he's mad. <laughs> Why are you so mad, bro? All dick energy. Circuit, yeah. make him even more mad. Listen, I'm just talking, bro. I'm just talking. No, you know? you're mad, homie. Why are you so mad? <laughs> No. Okay, guys, go bro, ahead and drop bro, it. Bro, listen. Yo, Lux. What's how up? about you turn on your camera, okay, and then talk to me? Uh, bro, you, you got know. humiliated shut up. today. Okay, exactly. Okay. Shut up, you beta male. Shut up. Brutally. I'm not shut a fan up, of Lux, male. but Lux mogs you. Yeah, I mog you pretty brutally, homeboy. Sector gets Yerakafa. Yeah, bro, go, go fix your fucking yeah, hairline. Shut the fuck your, up. Your height doesn't start with a five. Stop talking. You gotta mog him and You're circuit. pathetic. You're literally like Damn, a child. Damn, what is this me. glazing? Like, holy. <laughs> pathetic, bro. Bro, 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 I'll take you guys. I'll take you guys both down, bro. Negative cancel tilt. Reset's jaw. Yeah. Bro, what is, it, what is your name? Chad just knows. Just like... Like... Yeah, it's my name. My name is Sector Get. Sector Damono. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get from the Noctavel. Sarmuta. Feldizik Sarmut. Kasumak. He's going full of everything on me. <coughs> All right, this this is the, the. I'm not even Turkish. I feel like every right. single so fucking game in the chat gets more combative and more combative. Within like but a few months, there's going to be people screaming at like, each other and fucking. Throwing feces at the camera. <laughs> like different languages. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, Wait, where are you guys from? I'm Russian. You Russian? Yeah. Okay, you're I'm, lucky. I guess I'm going to like rage quit rather than like come on the panel. It's kind of no, I got some Turkish friends. They teach me all the goodies. That's how I know a little bit of curse words. Yeah, you're lucky. Turkey is good with Russia. Yeah, well, I fuck with Turkish people. Hey, yo. Hold yeah. up, I'm Armenian. Let's calm down. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! No, W Armenians. W, w W W Armenians. <laughs> we got a United Nations meeting over here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, really uh, dumb question: Who does Armenia have conflict with, Russia or Turkey? Which one of those? It's Turkey and Azerbaijan. Okay. Turkey and Azerbaijan, yeah. Oh shit. Probably, uh, yeah. Malik, who's the most famous Armenian? Kim Kardashian. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, she's <laughs> Armenian. Yeah. Oh wait. Well, well she's half, half I think. She's right? Half. I don't know. But, but that dad ass was Armenian. But that ass was made in America. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, true, but she was also made in America, I think. Yo, yo, Malik. Um, do you love do you love Turks? Um, Turks are actually really nice. I have a lot of Turkish friends. Yeah, I think we should like be more friendly. You know. I like. Maybe this is being a little racial stereotyping, but uh, a lot of my Turkish friends have a very angry sense of humor. Um, but I think it's kind of funny. It is funny. Like, they're just in a natural hey. state of always like on edge, but yo, it's Chad not knows. like. Why you look, yo, why are you trying to look like a giga chat, bro? Come on, show me. Yeah, show me a giga chat face. Come on. You gotta give me a face rating right now. Go. Come on. What you want me to do <laughs> yeah, first? Yeah. Wait, who got? Oh, it just switched places. Now I I can't. Ben Thorpe is a real giga chat. What's up, uh, Brandon? Right oh, I'm gonna have to adjust your volume. Holy shit! <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> I'm still better. waiting for the one guy who's apparently so attractive to show his face. But don't worry, you'll see soon. Right here, baby. Right guy. here. Right here. <laughs> yeah, Ben <laughs> is chad. He's like seven feet tall, like super gonial angle. He's a super chad. I'm a super chad, Dad. I'm here for you. I'm here for my daughters. I got a question for my daughters. Yeah, my girl, Malik, Malik and Is this dad? Daughters. Well, That's we daddy. can do some daddy play if you'd like. Oh, Lord. Oh, fuck daughters is, going is on. crazy. Yo, now you have I to think you're up, just look. a little too old, sir. Sir, how about Big Daddy? Fuck no. <laughs> 
Aspen, you love you know you W. Well, that would pay to a family reunion at the Thorpe house. <laughs> my actual daughter. And if I ever brought you home to my family, I would be yeah. disowned within a minimum of like half a second. No, that's not true. You from where? I'm from Yo, America. Ben, is that your daughter? Armenians? They love America. That stuff. No, they love the old man. No, no, no. Yes, they do. No. Yes, they do. Don't lie. Yo, Ben, yo, Ben. Look, yo, Ben. Look, what's up? I, I won't lie. Some people in the Middle East do have older husbands. White money. But, everything. but you're just you're just not it. Damn. Yeah, yeah, brutal. You're not even no, like, you're like a brutal. Are you at least rich? Number, Are you at least rich? Like, can you afford right, to like right, live with me in Dubai? Right. We got to go there. Don't take your shirt off. Leave it on. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it up. This is after five years in bed. I don't want to be here. Oh, bro. Hey, yo. 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 Looks, looks for all was nervous that he was going to secretly oh. like it. He's like, I can't take this. Yeah, Alex, he's like, no, it's not a penguin, bro. On, please. Jorge yeah. Del Rio. You can put it back on. <laughs> Look at that like penguin, yeah. Over here. Yeah. 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 Nice nipple, bro. I'm not sure to me. <laughs> yeah. Look at these girls. Oh, oh Malik got hotter strong. all of a sudden. Malik got hotter somehow, yeah. Yeah, right she's now. a martyr. <laughs> I'm playing Malik. All right, Malik, I love it. Malik's doing some box play with me. All right, but. Alex, just poke a couple of holes in there and you can look out at daddy. <laughs> yeah. A little no, bit just at one. a time. No, 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 just one hole. Again. Just one hole is all it's we need. It's going to be all right. <laughs> ben, Thorpe, ben Thorpe and Malik speed date. That would be hard. <laughs> yeah, I want to yeah. see that. She's my kind of girl. She keeps it real. Brutal. Look at her. Yo, ben. Box. Yo, I smack yo. that box right off her head and say, hey, baby, let's. Yo, do you guys let's ever <laughs> No, Dude. Malik, I think like... I like you. Mal Malik, I think I like you. I, I don't think, think I ask. Malik, this is this is yours. I'm tapping out on this one. Yo, I'm on it, bro. Aspen, you can watch, but you gotta pay extra. Malik, Aspen, I followed you on Insta. I'm Malik, good. I'll follow you back. Malik, can I ask you a question in all seriousness? Malik? If you put your shirt back on, sure, go for it. All right, bye, Aspen. I right, understand you, like, you can't take it. Gatorade sure. to get that. Oh, sorry, Aspen. Follow me on Instagram yeah. before you leave. No one cares about your Instagram. Oh, yeah, Shut up. Been... Shut up. I look hot on there. Listen. <laughs> All right. I'll follow you. Bro. Later. Wait. Before you ask for Snapchat, nobody cares about your Snapchat, bro. Look, who are you? Don't add it. Please, God. Please I will, I will not add you, bro. I will not add you. I know you're going to be looking at my Instagram. I know it. You bro, like, shut up. Me. I don't even know you, bro. I'm going to take <laughs> all your thoughts and occupy your mind, and you'll never be able to get me out of your head. Damn, don't Damn. take my thoughts. Sometimes hey, I feel yo, like I'm lonely. What the awesome. fuck? Everyone's just a bunch of kids fighting, and I just like I'm like, wow, oh, it's like a playground. Wow. Alex is like a teacher. Yeah, this is Alex, like this is no down, children. Alex, are you calling yourself a boomer, unprovoked? Damn, it's because he has no hair. Already. That's why. Doing my job for me today. It's a good day. I'm a. Uh, damn, damn, that's what happens when you go bald. Damn. Yeah, I'm a better man. Relax. Now. What the? Sorry, you Mr. X, I can't hear you. The money that you donated to charity is burning a hole in <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah, he got, yeah, he got you there. He got you there. I know. You won by, like, the fucking hair on your chin. I would say on your head. I don't care if you win by an inch or mile. <laughs> Winning is We're winning. still waiting for Indian people. Oh, no. I just got a text right? from Danny Masters. I need to leave. Sayonara. <laughs> now we're going to measure Indian PE. Malik, is yeah, Indian PE in the near future. Bro, right? I, I think I think I'm the uh, the youngest guy here. That's not so. Are you? How old are you? Um, 24. Oh, okay. I'm 27. Yeah, you are. The really? Youngest. Yeah. I'm you're are you, are you, are you, and you're still 36. fucking poor. Damn. Do you think 56? I'm still fucking... 36. <laughs> 36. Uh, no, I call it half. <laughs> I you're 36. Yeah. Did you see if you my were dog? dog you'd be 36. Yo, yeah. How old are you? No, wait. Hugh's the youngest, actually. Now that you yeah. Aspen, you need to reconsider. Not the youngest Hughes. anymore. That. Why? Oh, it's you. Ah, uh, Giga Chad just yo, you showed up. You kind of look like Aspen, uh, you from this Hugh. angle. Funny. You look like Lope. Grace, you know the my hair. Lope. You hey, look like my Lope. my my connections my connections choppy, but you need to reconsider majors. Why? What? Oh shit. Yo, Ben, is that your daughter? My hair. Yeah. It's my can hairstylist. Can, can I date her? Oh, you can try. Yo, okay, what's up? What's her? Uh, how old is she? She's 20. Okay, perfect. Uh, where's she from? What's, uh, 
What is she like? What's what kind of type? Yo, yo. Uh, she's crazy. This guy wants to date you, Grace. I don't know. What do you you want? Why don't you ask her? Let's we live in America. Wait, 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 wait. She's, she's actually pretty. <laughs> Alex, the, the table. Of course, she's pretty. She the pretty. apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Oh, yeah. Alex, step along, step along. Relax. His, his daughter hey, and I are together. Relax, step along. The, the Thor family rules. Damn, Loth got his daughter. Incest match. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you're come on, all fucked up, step alone. Yeah, don't do it, bro. Wait, who the I'm, I'm yeah. Can I ask Malik a question? Oh, of course, Malik. Yeah, of course, man. Malik, can we keep it real here just between daddy and daughter? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because I, there was a controversy with someone named non Not So Erudite on here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, and she's one of those Erudite. annoying kind of people who tells you everything. Don't, don't, don't say that about my friend, but continue. All right. Well, she's my friend, too. I apologize to her, and she accepted my apology. But what I'm saying, Malik, can we be a little bit honest and oh, just yeah. ask this question? I haven't been in the dating pool in a long time because I thought I was married to someone, but turns out I wasn't. But Ooh. what what I'm saying is I don't believe in premarital yeah, sex. Probably. I believe in having only sex with your wife. You know what I mean? I I'm traditional. That's why I've got my uh, buttons all buttoned up now. But if you're going to unbutton your buttons and get a little wild, you know what I mean? Then... <laughs> Then it's kind of like no holds barred, right? I mean, if you if it's if you're gonna do that, so, this whole like I gotta check with my lawyer and we gotta make sure that at every moment that uh, everyone agrees. That's not how it works, Malik. Am I right? It's you're all in at a certain point. What the fuck are you even talking about? Am I right? Well, I'm saying there was there was someone who was having a debate with me that when you're you like started to play a Mozart song, then sang Happy Birthday and finished with Mary had a little lamb on the guitar. <laughs> Basically, I have no idea what I just listened to. No, so I'm saying I don't believe in sex outside of marriage, but I understand that people are people, especially young people uh, with a high sex drive, like yourself. Now, I just don't understand where this is supposed to be going because right now I feel like we're on like I had an onion in my pants crashing. back in the day. Yeah, what's that, Aspen? We're on a train right now, and like we're just crashing. We're on an Ohio going, train. Uh, I'm outside. saying, oh god, look at this guy. Sakoi thinks I'm cut off. Sakoi, you cheated on me. <laughs> what? I hope your car battery <laughs> dies. So, Cody, cam up, buddy. It's what? old man's night down the bottom of the uh, oh, bottom of the panel. No, I got twenty nine percent beautiful. I'm not going anywhere. What the fuck? Uh, uh, okay, what's Step going on, on here? I, I'm macking on your bitch. I'm I'm macking on your hoe, Malik. How she wants. She doesn't want a great grandpa. She just wants Boy, a grandpa. Boy, I heard you <laughs> cheated on me. I cheated with the homeless on you woman. You went on a date with Aspen. Yes. Well, the only one Alex, I gave you permission to cheat on me with was your DMT plug. That was it. Oh, now, my DNT plug is not the one I date, but the thing is, you date other guys on here. Think about it. But no, I, always I, always no, I always reject them. I always reject them. Malik thought you guys were in a one way open relationship. Yeah. Yeah, Malik like, has been throwing like, a lot of sexual Alex energy my way. Malik, Malik, she and I, if you listen to the thing, did you watch it? We discussed she was 18 and too young for me anyway. You're 23 and the perfect age for me. She's That's too young. Thought. She knows That's she's too thought. young. We did discuss the it. It was a given. Am I right, okay. Aspen? Will you read it? Right. I apologize. I apologize for. Especially, I think you, you guys do much. Um, honestly, you should. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Maybe. Ben, wait. Let the ladies talk for once. Malik, what happened between you and Ben? I just I turned in. I just turned <laughs> it got in. pretty hot, dude. She put a box on what her head fuck? and everything. Wait, Spicoli, no, no, why is your attack. biggest competition in this call mm -hmm. the other old geezer who I would never go for? That's oh, like Malik, you're going to get a lot of spankings for that one. If you would never go for his <laughs> rear, if you would never go for him, why do you even bring him up, number one? Number two, why wouldn't you go oh, for him? I'll show you just, why, Spicoli, right here, baby. And she oh, took joy oh, for oh, him. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I thought, Wait, I you know what the sad thing is? I'm I'm older than him and I'm in a lot better shape and have a lot flatter chest and stomach than he does. I'm in a well, lot better shape. Why don't you come up and show too. us? 
Why don't you cam up and show us? It's there. I can show. People can see. Go to my channel. It shows me walking in the snow. And you can see I'm a slender dude with like a 30 inch waist, 140 pounds, six and a half inch, you know what? That's so how short. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's ma, bro. Six how tall are half. you? No, Malik said she doesn't Six. like that. That's, That's in the middle. Small. She needs yeah. to I'm five, smaller. I'm five ten. I'm five ten. I'm five brutal. ten. Brutal. That's brutal. Damn, you're brutal. shorter than Malik. It's if over, If it's bigger bro. than this yeah. lip gloss, I don't want it. Unless bro, that, that's huge, that you're right? That's a, that's I'm a way bigger right than there, that. Wow. Is my you know is my you're oh. comparing my penis to that? The fact that's that I know the exact lip gloss that you just put on. It's, my penis should be like where you're right. I'm at, Malik, 10 of those make up my penis, okay? 10 of those. Oh, God. No. Oh, Malik, finally. Sorry. Malik and I are different. She's 18. Uh, Malik, I forgot she's not 21 yet. So, Malik's as a gentleman, 18. I shouldn't be talking this way, no. to, like, in front of her. She's that is a young, true. She's old. a teenager. She is. She's young. <laughs> Don't you do me for not getting down and dirty with you if she's here. Like otherwise, you know what I would tell like, everybody. I would tell everybody I want to take you on a Malik. date and just rip your panties off. You know how to handle the piece of wood. I need to I need you to discuss the body you make with me. And put my that. head between your legs. Oh my just, God! But Holly, shut your Holly, shut your perverted mouth. Yeah, yeah, he has a problem. Oh, Malik, he has a problem. Grandpa's got a problem. I don't know. We tried to work with him. I try to take. He didn't take his meds today. Man, she doesn't but anyways, want you can come see Daddy, yeah. and I'll help you get learn. Yes, well, we'll get a vacuum pump Malik, so it gets bigger, and you can have a proper is, erection, bro. Because it's been shrinking Malik, after all this, this time. This dude is Honestly, I miss Ben. I miss Ben. Every day for thirty no, years. I miss Ben. Malik, Shut up, Holly. I miss Ben. Yes, thank you, Malik. I think Ben is way Let's better. Talk, I'll babe. Be ben is way better. Yeah. Yes. So, what's up? Hey, babe. So listen, I was trying to ask you a oh, question and ask oh, welcome what to What about the well. meetup in Rosa's sky? Uh, Wait, okay, what's what? your question? All right, my question <laughs> is, okay, I'm a Catholic. Yeah. I don't believe in sex outside of marriage. I don't think you should masturbate, any of that stuff, pornography, any of that stuff. Okay. But I'm also realistic, Malik. We're people. So you're a hypocrite. Like, I feel like Ben masturbates like five times a day. <laughs> five yeah. times Look, a I day, can honestly tell you. Like Alex, you haven't been when married. Malik, when you marry, you can't. When you get married, you get. He's in this whipping out his dick in front of his daughter and taking gets, a piss. That's what he's open gets, to. But he's not he gets, into the other he, shit. He gets all excited when him. I'm around him. Grandpa loses it. He's got homoerotic. What? Greg, when we're going to meet the Sky, I'm like ten years. You. Malik, I'm ten years older than this simp. I'm telling you. Let's show. Let's see you cam up, brother. Look at this body. Malik, is it appropriate for a 20-year-old daughter to see her father's 51-year-old penis? That's all I'm saying. That's all, folks. No, of course not. Of however, course not. However, Ben has I, shown you. Holy, oh, we we don't know, you have expressed that you are a decade older than Ben, and Ben looks like he's looks pretty great. old. So I would recommend, you know, making sure to breathe oh, oh. and not to overexhaust your uh, farting. You, me, I, over you me. know what I, um, you know, I look younger know. than Ben. I think I look younger than Ben, actually. I, I think I've been a little older than Ben. I don't look that much older than Ben. I don't know. I think I've been a little older than Ben. I, think I'm I, a child a child a than ben. I have not smoked every day. Uh, ben is a walking you fucking you heart attack. Guy. You've got to mute this guy. He just will not oh, stop. Oh, shit, the job. I think I'm going to title the clip. What Alex, is going on? The love story comes to an end, and here's why. Cock blocked by Benny. That's oh, right. Oh, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd she slide into probably, my DM. Yeah, probably yeah. just lost connection or something. I gotta check. What's that Hormax there? What's that Hormax here? Is Hormax here on? No. What are you talking about? Hey! I misclicked my bad. Alex, can you move me over to Malik? I want to talk to her like daddy to daughter. Give my girlfriend back. Give my girlfriend back. Can we touch on the internet? There we go. Alex, 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 magic. Alex, Why? Alex, 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 Alex,
I just Malik fucking. That's Zeppelo. Oh, that's yeah. not me. Malik, should Ben and I, I have a duel person, with our penises? <laughs> wrong person. Should we do it with our? Should we do it with our? Malik, should we do it with our penises or with real guns? Whoever has the bigger penis gets you. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know. That's I know not I really how I penis duel. Penis. Penis. Let's um, not let's not play that game on my stream. Let's <laughs> not. Let's not. Let's not play. Thank you. That's going to be the next measurement competition uh, we're going to have, Alex. Yeah. Anyways, Turkey is the strongest one ever. <laughs> what, what, well, what's the over and under? Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> if, if, if there's enough money, I'll do it. We'll, see, we'll discuss it after. I, I got three hundred. Right, drink it all yeah, down. That's right. You got to hydrate. You got to hydrate every drop. Um, I did. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, yep. oh, look at that. yeah. That's a girl. That's my girl. Yo, Alex, do you think uh, no, Turkey is a strong country? No, please do not talk to me like that. <laughs> Hey, oh, she's okay. over in my channel. Oh, yeah, Malik! But I mean, Get back over I mean, there. Get back over Malik, there. Malik, it's a queen of your That was actually getting around. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Malik, it's mm. creepy. He had a daughter. Hey, Malik, Malik. Thank you. Malik, it's daughter. Thank you. Is Thanks for coming over here. Had a great time. What? He has a daughter your age, Malik. I don't have any kids, Malik. It's more he's normal a, that I am yeah, pregnant you than a dude that's got a daughter your age. Well, congratulations, Spicoli. Ben has accomplished something in life that you have. That's it is right. good for you. Six beautiful children. Thank you, Malik. Where and now they need a step mom. Six children. Malik, are you interested? I'm on the top. I got I'm money. Let's go. Uh, I got I my, power. I, I got my internet. Well, I'm on the top. I my team. And I got a body that never stops. <laughs> what the fuck is this panel? I was saving my seed for Malik. Help I was saving my seed for Malik. <laughs> no, ben. I'm actually enjoying myself. You've got it. Guys, guys. Ben, you shot your fucking load, Ben. Ben, you shot yes, your totally. load. I was saving my seat. Honestly? Malik, Hold on. my seat is pure. My seat is pure. Is like, I'll Bro, stop it. Oh, Grandpa, she take it easy. Take your meds. No, I didn't know. I didn't have a choice. Malik. Grandpa. <laughs> Damn, Aston was still here. Right, come, Yo, over my, come, come over to my side. Come over to my side. No, of I'm of actually going to be here. Yes, baby. Malik, Ben won't take his tongue between your end. Malik, Malik, Ben won't take his tongue between your end. My breath? Malik, Ben won't take his tongue between your ear end. Oh, my God. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, Dad. He'll take care of you. That's right. I think the earth is a square. Let me talk. I think the earth is a square. I think the earth is a square. He's perverted, Dad. Now it's my kind of chick. Sorry, Spicoli. It's all over. Yeah, but you look at it in a weird way. No, in a perverse way. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gentlemen, gentlemen, one at a time. Why do you deserve me? Because I passed the eight-inch threshold. I because I'll tell you why, old. because <laughs> my genetics Why do I deserve you? Him. I'm better breeding yeah. material than this guy, and I don't have any kids. So when I die, you would get all my money, and my kid would get all my money. Where he Nicole, wouldn't we need all your all space measurements. Okay. In other words, he's got I heard from money I'm a better you, financial ben? long-term investment. <clears throat> Why do, why do you deserve this, Malik? Why do you deserve this? I don't want it. You're right. I don't deserve it. I hope you find someone better. Malik. Malik, he's got an ex-wife that's the biggest pain in the Malik, fucking ass. Malik, let's party. World. I've been in a terrible quasi-marriage for 20 years. Can you give a guy a good time on the internet for a couple hours after, I don't after this want panel? To. I don't want to. I'll give you money. I got a lot of money. Wow. Ben, we're going to get to her. Malik. My net worth is between seven and eight. The biggest shot. You know, you can get yeah, Oh, Ben. Ben, how tall are you? You're like 6'8". Honestly, honestly, Wait. my paper is like on my fridge, so Malik. you have to prove to me Malik. that you're Malik. rich. Like, all this talk, like, isn't adding up. Look, like, Alex, to Alex, can you do me a favor? Let's do it some beer contest Let's here. Google my real Let's name. Look, how tall Google my real Malik. name and see what my net worth is. Google my net Google my What's your name? What's your name, Coley? Nicole, type it in the private okay. chat. I'll put it. In we all know his name. His name is Carrie. Right, right. What kind I'll of a guy's it. name is Carrie? No, Karen. Yeah, but you don't have to reveal my last name in front of everybody. Let me put I would it in never the private chat. Your last I'm name is Sontag. Carrie. I'm not here to advertise my private. I'm not an attention whore like you, Ben, that likes my last name out there. Excuse you. Know I'm an know, attention whore. Know. Thank yeah, you very that's much. right, Malik. Come over here. Come, Malik Daniel. underscore 04. I'm that wasn't very me. nice of him. All right, let me Daniel. put my name. I'm going to put the name. You will see my name. W chat. W chat. YouTube channel. Beautiful. All right. Chat. W. Let me go to the. 
Ella, can I sneak over to your uh, to your square for a little bit? I just want to say something to you underneath her, underneath her. All right. What? What? I'm scared. Did you I'm hear actually that? Uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. Well, we'll we'll sneak over to each other's squares later, in the manner of speaking. Now, Malik, my point is, Malik, all joking I'm aside. Scared. Do you have a point? I believe in the Christian religion. As you oh do too, God, I see a nice cross this. there. Yeah. Oh, oh she's gone. Oh. I'm not gone. Uh, I'm still here. Right. But people are people, right? But I'm saying, and a lot of people have a problem with this. If you're gonna, That's you know, break winner. the rules, okay. you might as well do it in a fun way instead of asking every minute, "Is this okay with you? Is this okay with you? Is this okay?" With you? Excuse me, ben, Am ben, I right? I've got a valid point, Malik. Malik, how tall are you? I've got a valid point here. This dude is like six eight, I believe. You can imagine how big as you know what is. I'm honestly this guy's too big for you. Oh, Cole, easy, <laughs> easy. No, I, okay, I'll be honest. I am, I'm four feet and eighteen inches. Damn. No, what are you? You're, you're like about five, five six. six. Are you I mean, five, five six? six. You're That's what she's six, saying, five. you moron. Malik, do you five, prize six. intelligence? All right, Malik, Man, which, one, which, one, which one of them are you leaning towards to right now? Which one? If you have to pick one, which yeah. one is uh, more tempting? Obviously me. But Ben, how tall are you? Ben, I tell her how tall you are. Alex. It's tough. Malik, pick ben, me. Excuse me, Ben, pick tell me. her how tall you are. Ben, will you tell her how tall you are? I'm, I'm 80 inches tall. No, you're, you're six tall, eight, tall. right? Am I correct? Are you six feet, eight inches? I'm That's six nine. Thing. Don't you know how to add? What? <laughs> I'm six eight. Again, that's yeah. right. I'm that's a giga chat dad. He's six eight. Jesus. Malik, Can Malik, I need to get. Wait, Alex, Alex, he's six eight. Could you imagine a chick five six? Okay, here, 69? here. This is how I will determine which of them is worse. <laughs> okay. When was Rick the last time? But wait, Spicoli, are you homeless? Let me just. Nope. Yeah. No, no. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, right. 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 I have a cake. My place. No, like I live in a mansion. Look at this place. Right on the water. I love it. We'll go out and suntan every day. I'll rub you down. I'm going to ask you questions. That's a pretty big mobile home. I'll give you that. Yeah. That's a mansion, man. What? Hey, man. I don't know where I live. We're just turned out. I'm a big DJ. Poor DJ. Right. Holy, when was the last right. time you right. played right. 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 Can you let Malik talk, please? Please. Yeah. Go ahead, Malik. Bacoli, when was the last time you cleaned here, your toilet seat? The whole thing. Oh. 1980. <laughs> <laughs> During the Vietnam War, baby. During the Vietnam War. That was the last time I cleaned it. Okay, great. What about you, Ben? quite frank. Uh, I clean I it every day because I have cats. I have cats. I have to clean it, and it doesn't get that dirty because I don't make a Grandpa's mess. Off his meds. Think about it. I don't make a mess. That's okay, Grandpa. It's I go to the bathroom once a month. You. Right, show your biceps. The Ock has so many personalities right I now. I, I, I can't even keep up. Malik, I'm, I'll answer My that brain. question. I only go to the bathroom once, I feel like once a month, I'm in elementary school Malik. as I go to the a teacher, and all my students are just yelling at me to answer questions, and I cannot keep up with you. They have no respect, Malik. I'm trying to have some respect. All right, so it seems like they both clean their toilet often. No, I but tell Grace to clean the toilet. Oh, he, he, uh, he. Toilet pill. <laughs> Cleaning yeah. toilet he, he knows how to. That's uh, the daddy right. thing. I'll tell I you. I thought both of you were rich. You both fucking lied to me. If you were rich, you would never clean your toilet seat. Ever. No, Ever. I'm not. That's true. That's true. How you stay rich. That's how you stay rich. But yeah. Malik, Malik, if I have a rich daughter, I have a girl that comes over every I have a girl that comes over every ten minutes. Malik, I have two toilet papers. I'm richer than them both. Bro, I want my ass with fucking euros. He gets a one every eight, ten days. Once every eight, ten days, I have a lady to come over and clean my house. Can you guys give it a clean up for like five minutes, please? All right, Malik, what's the next question? The next Have question. Let's go. Keeper, man. Okay. All right. All right. Ready? If I told help. you Keeper, I wanted to wait till marriage and I didn't want to get married for another two or three years, what would God. you say? Why? I want to I want to make love to you so badly right now. Malik. Oh, that's so cute. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, Malik, I believe in that, but I might not always follow the rules. Oh, in the mirror in that So, yeah. what does that mean? It wouldn't matter. Marriage I do be my best, table. but you're a beautiful a young way. woman. Greg, you're going to be my second husband. Exactly. Malik. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I have, Malik, 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 I have another Malik, question. Malik. Oh. Shut up. So, okay, it's on her time. Pick. Okay. We're traveling together, okay? Yeah, Where are we going and what are we doing? You're simping. You're simping, not me. I'm Malik Brutal. Simp. I agree. Malik, I'll do anything. Okay, for you. let me go first, Ben. Basically, we're gonna, let me sniff your hair. Okay, we're going around the world and we're going to hit the country. Ben, please. You're, we're going to hit the country. Ooh. Do you want to go to first? Because I don't really care. I just want to travel. So you can make the decisions. In fact, the less decisions I have to make, the better when it comes to that shit. I really hate mean it. I don't want to decide shit like that. I'll tell you why. Because I don't want to use my brain. I don't want to have to lose brain cells thinking about travel Please arrangements. Whereas, if I'm going to take you and pay for it, then you're part of the deal. Is you have to Malik. arrange all the shit. That's the deal. I pay for it. You arrange it. Malik. What do you think of that, Malik? Um, that honestly. That's how you great. earn your money. No, that sucks. That's how. Now, that's how Malik, you earn your money. This is what we're going to do. And you all earn your Malik. money. When I make love to you every night, Malik, you will earn your okay, money. Okay, that's that enough. That's enough. That's enough. Coley, that's Malik. enough. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Wow. Now, Malik, this Stop. is what I'm going to do. And this is not a fantasy. I've got a $140,000 RV, all Mercedes-Benz, all <laughs> to the nines. We're going to get in that. We're going to take a cross-country trip. With my six wonderful kids, we're going to have a great That's time. Right. Damn. Damn. Have six kids? I have six beautiful kids, and we're going to be on YouTube. Either. You're going to watch all over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll dump them somewhere. Hope, yeah. Hope he doesn't like condoms. You're a step on there. Wait, wait, no, wait. Hold on. Step no, like, I got to tell you that ahead of time. What? No condoms. Hold on. No condoms. Condoms no is a joke. Day ever. How no old way. is your oldest kid? How old is your oldest kid? She's right here, 20 years old. So I am only three years older than your daughter. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. They call him Raw Dog Thor for a reason. I literally <laughs> could be your daughter's we older sister. We have the sister. same age. I know. Let's make yep. another six, Malik. Yep. I'll have 12 yep. kids. Exactly. And I want your kids to be uh -huh. trained to we weaponized against my uh, my older kids. So we have like a war. <laughs> you know what I mean? Our kids over the older kids. I don't have against kids. each other. This ben, is creepy. Can I fuck ben, your daughter? Creepy. Can I, if I, can I fuck your daughter? Ben, ben if I ben, your daughter, ben, 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 why is everybody ben, trying to fuck his daughter? What about my daughter? Wait, what? I wouldn't be hitting on Malik if I had a daughter. Malik's got his grandmother there. I don't want to bring her on. Malik. Malik, like, even a guy like, like me would not Greg, hit on you. Greg, do you want to be my if I have you have Aspen? Like this, Greg, do you want to take me to Rosa Sky, Max? Yeah. Malik, Malik, though, how, Malik, would, Malik, 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 wouldn't that be a fun trip Sky. together, Malik? <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be a fun Malik, trip? Let's involve. Let's involve. Let's involve. Let's involve. Ben thinks he's a cult leader, Malik. Only real quick. All right, let's involve Aspen. Aspen, which one of these guys do you think is more likely to win over, win over Malik's heart? Oh, which one for Malik? Me. Yeah. No. <laughs> out of, out of um, all the guys in the call. Out of all of them? Yeah. Oh, not just between the two. No. Let me sweeten the deal a little bit here, guys. Mm. Well, I'm well, going to do it on the two first. Obviously, since I'm be hitting up Malik nonstop, it's going to be me. But, you know, aside from that, if I don't hit her up 24-7. I feel like Ben's going to be pretty persistent. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, ben, we need your more buddy. Yeah. Malik, I'm gonna make it happen. Oh, General yeah. coping. Oh, geez. You're bringing me back to life, Malik. Oh, Malik, I want you to know. Wait, wait, hold on. Feeling Malik. like we've got some chemistry. Malik, you look to all the game and get it up, bro. Like, like you're great. Uh, unless you yeah, want to be sad, Malik, I want to make up. a point. I, Malik, what? I pet my cat. I pet. I pet my cat two hours a night. He got an eight pack. Malik, you can imagine. Malik, if I pet my cats two hours a day, I would pet and massage you two hours a day, wouldn't I? Think about it. Yep, if I have, I pet my cats for two hours a day, so I definitely massage you and pet you for two hours a day. Ben doesn't have time for that with six kids. I do. That's the difference. I hate to tell you. He pets a cat two hours a day? I don't have kids. Malik, I can make it happen for you on every level. He, Malik, he beats off two hours a day. Malik. This dude beats off 
two hours a day. I play with Cat two hours a day. He yanks a peanut two hours a day. Seriously, Malik, why don't you come up here? I'll 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 have some fun. I need some fun. Malik, what's better? I have a couple questions, okay? Ben old friend. Okay. Would would you Whoa, look at her? Malik, look look at me. Give it to me, baby. Ew, any smokes. Ben, go for the 18 year old. Ben, go for the 18 year old. Aspen. Aspen, will you take this guy away from my girl? Oh, you're 18, Aspen? Oh, she wow. gives you a little finger. Ben. Why, Aspen? You don't like him? No, ben, did you like turn her <laughs> around? <laughs> He's like, like not her. even in the conversation. <laughs> it's this way. I'm going to protect from what her. What did you do to her, Ben? Just run away They're together gonna and have a great time. Ugh. That's right, honey. Every drop. Every drop. Every now, drop wait. Drop. Aspen, that's for him, not me, right? It's Shake medicine. your head up and down. That's for him, not medicine. me, right? That's that's for that's that's the middle finger. I really liked Malik. She's no oh, shit. It's not for me. I, I, I really, you I really like Aspen. 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 I really like Aspen, actually. But, but player five, ask the gentlemen if they'd be willing to be Malik's right. BDSM slaves. Oh Jesus! All oh, right, I have a question. I have a Yikes. question. Malik, do you think, do you believe that Greg's body count is 130, 130 for his body count? I believe that Greg right. is exactly probably 999. a whore. Exactly, 999. Not probably. I believe that Greg is a whore. So, um, honestly, Wait, I don't think. Wait, you? At least. Right, so, ask the gentleman if they'd be willing Wait, to, be be to be a whore. Let's, let's start off with you, Ben. Greg mm -hmm. is literally a fucking Russian uh, dude on the internet. Trust me, he's a fucking pop with the only dick. fans. Exactly. Why does that surprise you? Wait, you okay, insulting me now? Can you face right him? him? That's not yeah, even that's impressive. Like, you can insult me now. I'm Russian. That's very impressive. Malik, I work Malik, hard will you it. give him a face rating, myself. please? Malik, okay. Malik, I'll it's cash over. up you ten dollars tonight on Twitch or whatever. Just he face rate this guy. Ten, twenty bucks. Do I don't what? care. He's broke. Whatever. I don't. I don't want to send you too much because it'll seem like I'm simping. But what do you face rate this guy? Malik, I'm openly simping. I'll give you thousands of dollars to hang out. I can't hear you, Spicoli. My God. Rate, rate his face only because he's always into rating Greg? other men's faces. Yeah, what do you rate his Just face at? Can you count uh, up, please? Greg, 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 your beautiful face um, honestly, I will be honest as far as Greg goes. He's not. Greg, rate my face. Ever. Um, but She's if I up. take that out of consideration, just in general, I'd say he probably gets like maybe a seven. But uh, for Damn. me, um, all right. dub, dub. For me, right. I am who's not attracted to Greg at all. Okay, okay. All right, who's the hottest guy on yeah. on this whole video chat? Honestly, and, and, I think um, yeah. hottest guy. <laughs> Seven's not a chat yeah, Be careful how you answer this question. A chat line is a chat line. Be careful, I think the hottest guy is like Chris from Mr. B. Oh my Malik. God! Here we Everyone go. Everyone knows you're lying, Malik. You're Mr. On this video call. Wait, wait, wait. Video call. Wait, wait, wait. You're just teasing, me. Person, wrong person. You're just teasing Malik. Um, Mr. Beast, what? No, we've got to be honest. I, I think on this panel, on this panel, oh. the hottest guy by she far. She likes Mr. Far. Beast. She likes ben. Mr. By Beast. By far, the yeah. hottest Mr. guy. Beast. Um, is Ben. Is, ben. Is whoever is like in Greg's background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. Hey, he's dead, by the way, necrophiliac. He's fucking dead, bro. Yeah. yeah. A dead he's guy. Yeah. She's yeah, dead, dead guy. guy. He's gone. All right, let's yeah, go. Let's go. Let's go, back. let's go back to the question Cold Steel asked. All right, so Ben, answer. Yeah, let's go back. Let's, let's oh, go Malik, back. what are you? Let's... Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me, real quick. Malik, when are you going to be right. twitching again? When are you twitching? I'm okay. good. I was going to go live at 11, but. General. I guess I'll go live. Um, I don't know, probably at midnight tonight. So like an Let's right, party there, Malik. Spicoli, we need a, we need I don't know how much longer this panel's going to be. I don't know. I'm going to wrap up soon. Uh, Spicoli, we need a quick answer from this in the interest of fairness. Ask the gentleman if they'd be willing to do Malik's BDSM slave. Yeah, so would you be willing now. to be Malik's Hello, BDSM yeah. slave? <sighs> Go ahead. Thank you, Malik. Go ahead. Take it away, Spicoli. Wait, what was, yes, would Malik, I be willing to you. be what? Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, wait, would I be willing to be her simp? No, like, her slave. What, what, in GTA. Her slave? Okay. Here's here's how I answer that. 
Here's how there would be. I don't know about being slave, but there Good. would be so some days I would thing. be here. Pimp. Wait, here's how I like to play. It. And I, this is a, what do you think of this, Alex? Some days I would be her pimp. Some days I would be her simp. And this way, I would always mix it up so she wouldn't know. There'd be days I would passionately make love to her and days where I just treat her like she's my daughter. Days like where I just want to tear her panties off. There's different days. So it would, she would never know which way no, I'm coming at her. So this way, I'm always mixing it up. And she would never, each day would be a mystery. I'd have her dressing up in different sexy lingerie on a daily basis each night. I, God knows what I'd be doing. Uh -oh. I would purposely uh -oh. take a you nap for three hours in milk. the afternoon oh, so no. I could stay up for three hours in the morning with my head between her legs all night. So I'd be doing stuff like that. That Ben. This guy. Nobody fucking asked. It was a head. yes or no question. I literally <laughs> don't want to hear your voice anymore. What I mean, the goalie does have that effect on you. No, uh, hers in my relationship. You have she to knows go back to the retirement house. No, it wouldn't work that way. I'll tell you why. I think she, if yes. anything, she would. Uh, yeah, I probably oh, would. She's shut right. your <laughs> damn <laughs> mouth! But I wouldn't be her for this place. I would only be her slave for a night or two here. Yeah, I would be her slave. You sound like you a pirate. Right right. <laughs> what would you say that to do? On your rear up. end. Holy, yeah, please, do me a favor, and next bit. time you want to fucking talk oh, to me, God. don't fucking take DMT beforehand. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it never ends. Speak holy. All righty. That was fun. Right. I think, I think we're getting pretty close to the... Uh, on your sex play. Yes, that would be your sex play. Pretty, 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 pretty close to the wrap-up point, and I feel like this kind of going in circles now. Any closing <laughs> thoughts on your body before Alex? Up? Thanks for having yeah, us on your great, panel, buddy. Always a pleasure, Ben. Always a pleasure. Alex, buddy. Alex, what are you doing with chat? Yeah. You got to keep chat free. Hashtag free chat. No, hashtag chat is not moderated enough. Hashtag why no, the fuck am I not a moderator? No, the it's chat fun. is pretty Everyone's brutal. Let's get in harm. Let him say chat. Yo, W chat. W chat. Chat was his place. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm like the nicest fucking oh, person. Yes. But yeah, you got Malik as your slave. You gotta, we got Malik as your slave. Got, as your slave, Malik as your slave. I'll put I'm, whipped cream. I'm gonna mute him for a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, we got to force the don't be a bitch rule. You know, the only person that got kicked off today was RPG, and he was just being a bitch. You know, not much I can do about that. Well, 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 what you kicked off RPG? You have to be very careful. RPG's funny. I've seen guys that are a lot. Not, I mean, uh, yeah, all, all he does is talk shit. I gave the. I said, hey man, if you're gonna talk shit, then come on. He wouldn't do it. I gave him like 20 million warnings, and he just like. Basically, was like, just block me, bro. So he basically just kind of like reached yeah. quickly for himself in a way. But yeah, like I don't Dude, really. You, you're changing, bro. bro. You're, you used to be about free speech. What happened? No, it's it's really great um, to keep it. Free. Well, I was never about. There was never 100 percent free speech. Like if you say, for example, Sasha. like racist Sasha. shit, or you like threaten violence, you would always get kicked off. So we're right. Never, of course, he, yeah, he yeah. didn't say that. But it's okay. fine. It's fine. I, I, I just want to say for everyone in chat who talks shit, especially to the girls Alex has on, don't say it in chat. Just literally say it to her face. You fucking Look, at the end of the day, there's there's Damn. there's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no, Malik. No. Malik. Malik. Malik, I got a question, Malik. I love your look. You know what? The way she handles Ben, you have to admit, she handles these soy boys. Way, 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 way better. Why are you talking to Ben? Way, way better. He's in love with me. Malik, he's a homosexual. He's in love with you. Ben, he actually is in the closet. He's very, very closet. Malik, I'm a guy who's here for chick. I'm here for you. Wait, Greg. We need more no, ben, is, ben, is Aspen in love with you, Ben? Does Aspen I'm the most love heterosexual you? guy on the planet. On that note. Please. I don't think Aspen shut likes you, Ben. Ben, up. ben what wait, did you wait, do wait, to Aspen? I spice. Holy shut up. <laughs> God damn, bro. Malik, are we going to party all night? Can we party all night? I've been through a lot the last couple bro, of days. Bro, Alex, I need to party with a nice... Yeah, exactly, man, man, Dan, Dan, Alex, exactly. address this. This is valid. Okay, we're wrapping up. Bro, you kicked off RPG by Zena, who was literally bickering me and Greg the entire time. Yeah, man, you were the one bickering also back, so if I kicked him off, I would have to kick you off. The difference Don't was, do it, Alex. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it, Alex. Okay, muting Ben for a second. Yeah. The difference was is that when I gave you a warning, you guys stopped, so that's the difference. Mm -hmm. So I'm always going to give people multiple warnings, but if you ignore the warnings over and over and over again, and all you're doing is just being a bitch in the chat, and you're mm -hmm. unwilling to go on, that's, yeah, like, I'm not going to make, like, infinite exceptions uh for the rules so yeah that's the, that's the big difference anyway alex um, is a traitor 
I know I'm such a traitor. <laughs> Wait, who's a traitor? Are, are you a traitor? This is the part part traitor. Oh, this, this is, is the part 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 over yeah. here. <laughs> Zimmer traitor. Oh. Malik, Justice Malik for is RPG. You slave, including putting whipped cream on your yeah, Justice for RPG. With that be included, I will be your sex slave. I will be your sex slave. All right, anyway, this is Zero Zero. Which you and Greg meet the new Alex, news in Rose Sky. Let's go to Whole Foods. Let him wrap up. <laughs> Going to meet you too, Swag. You go on way too many tangents as well. Uh, all right, cool. Anyway, yeah. appreciate you all. Yeah. Fun stream. Thank you, Aspen. Thank Malik. you, Alex. Thank you all for joining and contributing to this. Just what about me, bro? One of the... Uh, Come on. Malik's on, Twitch tonight. Twitch tonight. Malik's on Twitch tonight. Malik's on Twitch tonight. Doesn't stop. Malik's on Twitch. Definitely one of the more hilarious streams I've been on, but yeah, it was a good time. I missed my Whole Foods window, but that's okay. I'm willing to uh, go to Yo, Whole Foods Alex. in the morning. All right. Appreciate you all. I love you. God Have damn, I'm getting ignored, bro. Bye.